Welcome everybody. This is going to be Rumple's very first one shot as a DM. It's actually very first adventure any of anything really in D&D related where he is in complete control. Sit back, relax and enjoy. It's going to be a good adventure. <clears throat> it is a cold autumn morning after a night of after a night of rest after a long day's journey. The three of you sit finishing breakfast, looking at your two new travel companions. From the moment you came downstairs from your rooms, the somber atmosphere was hard to miss. A small fire crackles in the center of the room. The only other sounds heard are the clanging of cutlery to bowl and the hushed conversation between the tavern keeper and her husband. If it weren't for the silence in the room, you may have missed the conversation, but you overhear the troubles of the town. After inquiring with the tavern keeper, she tells you that no supplies have arrived over the past few months. The town is reliant on a farm to the east in a region known as the Grey Hills. They have been they have never been this late before, and when there has been a delay, a message was always sent. As of right now, they have received no word. Moreover, the son and daughter of a local store owner went out to see what was happening, have not been seen in almost two weeks. With winter close on its way, they get no supplies soon, the town may fall apart. The tavern owners offered you all 50 gold pieces if you could travel to the farm and find out what's going on. What would you like to do? Friends, I think it's, uh, are we all ready to go? It looks Head like I'm ready. Yeah. I have prepared all the equipment. I'm kind of like sitting there, kind of like polishing this 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 shining pistol, and just I'm like tender care and checking all its inner workings and making sure it works. Well, as you're doing that, you hear a a big thud, and the door of the tavern swings open. The shadow illuminating, and well, crafty. What what does it illuminate? Well. As the fireplace is in the centre and they're on the other side of it, they don't happen to see who's come through the door of the tavern. Mm -hmm. But there's a shadow that has been cast on the wall behind them. A hulking ten-foot shadow showing somebody full of muscles. And they hear the stomp and the growl, a very large growl of somebody approaching. However, as the sound gets closer, they notice that the shadow starts to diminish in size until a figure has walked around the fireplace and standing before them is a three-foot Goliath holding a megaphone. <laughs> Hi! My name is Skag Hunt. I'm an urban bounty hunter. I come to see if anybody's got any work for me. Uh, well, friend, and I kind of like hop down from my chair and you see I'm, I'm this little little gnome that's got like a hat and some like little glasses on his nose and I'm, I'm I've got like a, like a big old rifle attached across my back and I'm still kind of like rubbing the the, the the pistol in my hand and I come over I put it in a holster and I reach a hand out and I'm like hello there friend it's uh nice to meet you uh um Teddy Teddy Fizzlewiz uh Fizzlewiz you won't happen to be the brother of Freddy Fizzlewiz I uh yeah uh I think uh, I, I lost him recently, and uh, I'm just kind of trying to move on at the moment, you know. I, I heard he was a good inventor. He went up north. I passed him I, I, some uh, months back. He looked in good spirits. He, he's alive? Aye, he's alive and well. Doesn't stop talking, that one. That's That, that sounds like my bro... I need to... After we're done here, I'm going to head north, and I'm going to find him, and him and me are going to have words. Hey, Well, anybody who's related to the Fizzle is, is there a gaze of respect of Skaghack. It is a pleasure to meet you. Do that. The, go for the forearm clasp. Yeah. And who are your companions? Uh, do you want to introduce yourself, fellas? I heard you were an urban bounty hunter. Yeah, that's correct, sir. Well, so was I once upon a time. A nice to bounty meet you. Hunter. Nice to meet you. I'm Ronan Perditus. 
Rolan Panitis. Uh, yeah. Very, very good. And what about you there, fella? He looks to, towards Nathan's character. <laughs> the silent type, then, eh? Yeah, man, yeah, he tends to be like that. All right. Well, I didn't realize I muted myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rook Tokurok. People call me the Lala Firesis. That's where I come from. Uh, very good. I got your half orc, aren't you? <laughs> I am. Mm. Well, you look, look like quite... Like, can you fight with sword and axe? I fight with a great axe. And uh, he uh, pulls it from behind him, and you see the axe is as big as his <laughs> entire body. Look, so it's kind of loading in the, in the happiness, like, good, copper warrior. Oh, that's it, right, that is right. And you all look like you can handle yourselves in a fight. Tell I me. I think so. What? What kind of a mission are you going for? Uh, it's investigative, I think. There seems to be trouble with a with a shipment, and we're going to go find out what the problem is. And what's what's the pay? Fifty gold. Oh, that sounds good to me. Let's go then. All right. Where do we start? So we all... hey, work is in Rukto's favorite thing. So we're prepared to prepare fighting. And as, as we like start walking out, I'm doing the like the pistol spin thing where you spin it, put it in your holster, pull it out, spin it, put oh. it in your holster. Nice. I would never get used to you using your gun. <laughs> Gotta get with so... the times, man. It seems like weak and feeble way to kill. <laughs> pull it out, point at him. Oh. <laughs> Why don't we give that a go? <laughs> Rook Tor kind of st looks at Benz and looks him straight in the eye. Clock Try it as he's holding his great hand. Clock, clock the safety back. <laughs> Look, Careful, Benz. Look, no, 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 there's no I need. Spin it, load it in my holster, clap the, clap him on the shoulder, and I just walk out the door. You know I'm playing with your friends, even though I still <laughs> think it's silly. My man. I think I'm going to enjoy working with these ones. Oh, Rook Tor's probably... Trust me, you will. <laughs> uh, the fact we're all so oh. cheerful fills me with even more dread. What you with more dread is that Rook Tor is, and what his thought is, he hate if you're not a proven warrior, you are not good. <laughs> so, Let's go. you all step outside the tavern. Uh -huh. So, as you walk out, it's raining, dark clouds cover the sky, and there's a low crackle of thunder can be heard out in the distance. It's not a lot of people um, in the streets. Those that are out are just kind of darting, going about whatever business. Um, is there anything you'd like to do in the town before you set off? Do we have well, any starting gold? Where are we at? Uh, I believe I did give you some, but I can't remember how much. I can't remember if you did either. See. Uh, also, where would if... you like us on the map? <laughs> Was it 100? Uh, I feel it was something like that, yeah. If I just scroll up, what did I say at the top? I like to scroll. I don't know what you're using. What's it coming? Where is it coming from? I, because I can't remember, I'll just say you all have, yeah, let's go with 100. 100 gold, fantastic. Well, yeah, uh, my... <laughs> my my thinking would be to see if there is a store to get some supplies. There is a store, and you'd also know that the store owner's children are the two that went to the farm. They haven't been heard of since. Ah, so there's... How old are the children? So there's a... Uh, 17 and 18. So there's a possibility then that the store is not open. Well, their, their parents are still there. Oh, I see. Excellent. Screw More up. like maybe we can get a discount. <laughs> uh, we're, I take topic. it we're outside the tavern, right? Yes. Okay. This would be the tavern oh. here. Oh, we're just off. <laughs> we're off I mean, house. it's it's fine. It doesn't matter to be honest. Um, and the shop would be this one over here. Very well. I don't know about the rest of you, but 
I'm looking around and I'm not seeing many healers. Unless uh, you got some hidden talent that none of you are telling me about. I'm going to advise that maybe we find the local oh, yeah, store yeah, yeah, and yeah. stock up on some healing potions if they got them. You also gave us potions of healing. We have two potions of healing each, but yep. additional is never a bad thing. <laughs> I'm just double checking because I thought he's playing. Uh, I agree with you, friend. Let's 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 go take a look. More health would be appreciated for when the, when we get to the party. Let it go. All right, uh, we oh, head it's to, it's to the store. Oh, okay, so in the store you walk in, it's a very basic kind of general store type affair. Just kind of a wooden counter, a few things up on the wall, nothing particularly taking your eye except there is what appears to be quite a nice short sword on the wall um and a few potions underneath that but other than that everything seems rather rather simple um you walk in and it is a dwarven man at the counter who greets you uh, ah hello what can i do for you today oh uh, yes hello good day for good sir i'm uh, looking for some healing potions if you got any Yes, yes, yes. I've got a few just up there. Uh, three, actually. Oh, and how much? Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Go on, you go ahead. Uh, 50 gold pieces each for, for them. I don't get them very often. Oh, you very well. Uh, got... You got uh, any anything else of interest in stock before we spend all our money on healing potions? Uh, well, um... I do have just up there a, a, a sword that I got off an adventure. It, it, it seems nice. I'm not much of a fighter myself, so I couldn't tell you much about it, but you can have a look if you like. So kind of looks at his great axe and breaks all these like, two hand axes and they're like, I'm good, I don't need more weapons. Uh, can I can I reach up and like take a look at it? Yeah, yeah. He hands it over to you. It I is a short want... sword. Is that, it does it seem like I'm going to like look down the edge of the blade, see how sharp it is, like take a look, see if there's is there anything magical in nature about it? I'm going to like run my thumb along the blade. Make an arcana check. First roll of the game. Yeah. yeah. My terrible, terrible uh, stuff. Uh, oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what well, a way to start your position. So, yes. Um, you can tell it is magical, it's very, very well made, and there appears to be some magical runes etched along the side, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it would, uh, actually, no, would you know that? It's an at 20. Yeah, no, maybe. Yeah, no, um, it's up to you. If you it, no, it's... because you're a fighter, no, you wouldn't know, but you do know it's magical, and it's very well made. Um, cool. Is there, does that, so yeah, so I have no idea what type of magic it possesses. Yeah. Cool. Can I ask him? <laughs> yes. Um, you, uh, uh, sorry, lad. No, I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm a simple shopkeeper. I don't dabble in any magical things. Um, uh, how much? Would you hence why it it's slightly discounted. Um, I'm selling it for 150 gold, just because. Oh. Uh, I, I, I don't know what it is. It could be useless for all I know. It might kill you. I'll be right back in a second. Is there is any is there anyone here that can make use of such a, such a weapon? Uh, I could. Well, uh, better you know, than me. I'm quite happy with me great axe. I mean, my friend, if you if you think you can make use of it, maybe maybe it'd be worth the trouble. I'm afraid it's over budget. How much money we all got? I got it myself a hundred gold. Same Bad here. Part. We've each got if we've each got a hundred, that's four hundred gold, and we can only spend one hundred and fifty on the potions anyway. Like that, even if we bought the sword, sword, and all the potions, that's that's still only three hundred gold. I would, I'd be quite happy to give up me hundred gold in exchange for a potion. Uh, yeah, that... Sir, I I don't know if you know, but we're actually uh going to hunt for this, the the, the these last resources that, that have been a. Uh, that I believe your children went to look for. Is there any way we could work something out since we're we're helping out? As you say that, you see like his demeanor instantly shift, and he's like, uh, 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 "What? You 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 going to the farm?" Yeah. Yes. Look, we're going to. Yes, all of us are. 
Um, That's right. We're taking uh, up the, the the quest, as it were, to go and find out what's going on. Oh well, yes, you're gonna you're gonna need to. Uh, can I ask a favor of you, if you have it, if you had it that way? Of course, my friend. Oh, what is it? My 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 two children, Solme and Kiradeth, they went up there, looking looking to help to see what was going on. They're very brave kids, but they they haven't been seen in. I've got two weeks now. We, if you could look after them while they're there, they they look like me. The Thoma is a bit of a is is a bit taller, but a good, thick, healthy, healthy beard, and Kiradeth's about yay high and red hair. And uh, I wouldn't say you would call her a looker, but I sort of think she's all right. Thoromir and Kiradeth. Yes. Of course, my friend. If we if we see them, we'll we'll let you know anything we find. Oh, thank you, laddie. And um, yes, um, uh, uh, these potions, I'll give I'll, all of them for a hundred. Hey, I'll, 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 I'll take them. I'll divvy them up. And are we taking taking the, the sword as well? I'm curious to find out what it does. <laughs> as am I. I yeah, I'll, I'll also if we, I'll chuck out I'll chuck in a hundred to to add towards us. We need two hundred total, right? So. Wait, was 150? We need 250 for the total. 150 for, yeah, so 250. 250. So I'll, I'll chuck 100 in. I will also chuck 100 in. Anybody spot 50? Crap. We put in. Hey. All right, yep, so that's 250. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I assume still, I'll hand the sword to Saron and not Saron to uh, your character. Nice. So, can I also do an Arcana check? And... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do an arcana check. I mean, if it's based with, if it's something fire related, I already like kind of use fire to enhance my weapon. Maybe I know something. Let's see. Maybe we'll get nothing. You do have magical sort of abilities. So. Oh, yeah. Thirteen. He may. Thirteen. You learn nothing more than what you already know that it is magical. And yeah, it's pretty good. You feel like you've got a good deal. I'll say that. How mysterious! Mm. The vocal sword. <laughs> yeah, it's worked it out already. Uh, <laughs> how much gold am I giving up here? Fifty. Hey, I can do that. Uh, and who who are getting the potions? I'd I'm fine with not least... getting one. I have I'm one at least. Uh, I'm I'm a ranged champion, champion character, so. Sure you guys will. want one each, that's fine. I'll tell you what, I'll take two. Oops, no. Oops. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, you know. I guarantee you I'm going to be the one up front and close and personal. If things get a oh, bit hey, early. Think... Oh. <laughs> i tell you what, how about we wrestle for it? You win, you get two. I win, I get all three. Huh. Sure. Wait, who's wrestling? Yeah, who's wrestling who? I was gonna oh, wrestle the orc. Oh. Are we still inside the shop as you're making this challenge? Let's check this outside. Look, go, look, go outside. Do oh, you think you need an advantage, mate? You gotta, you gotta do this wherever you want. Rather not mess up this poor man's shop. Alright, out, out, outside. Out, out, outside it is, boys. Let's go. Okay. So, are you wrestling for it? Yes. <laughs> make um, both make a strength check then. Oh, oh that is a oh, oh no. That's oh. A twenty-two. That is a twenty-two. <laughs> so skank, you are picked up because you're quite short and just across the square. Ah! <laughs> you land about feet. five feet away in the mud. <laughs> oh, that was not bad, but I, I guess the sun was in my eyes. Very well. Oh, you, get, you get your two potions. Mind you. Look to a hand, one to whoever else wants one. Here. I'm having the other one. That was the deal. Yeah. There you go, then. I'll take, I'll take However my, many one, you've got. my one potion. God damn it, that was supposed to go <laughs> so much. You have two... You have two to start with, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just, two. I just wanted more. Okay. I just wanted, okay. You, you, you have, you just want, 
You want to do the lot of them. <laughs> Who wants the other one? Rooks are not gonna have four. I love it. Give it to uh. <laughs> I'm not gonna wrestle for it this time. No, I'll just give take it, it, it from you. Just, just, just give it to Ronan. Give it to Ronan. He could do with it. Yeah, I could use it. Uh, he gives it to him. I have the four. Four back it. Thank you, friend. Rooks are being taller. <laughs> Did you just say taller? I don't know how tall you are. Is that a small joke? Are you making a reference to my height? Look, they're so good muscles. Look so loud. <laughs> it's oh, joke. does don't anyone else have anything they want to do here? Personally. I, I don't, I don't think so. I think we, uh, we, we head on our way. Uh, how late is it during today? Like, it's, what time? it's in the morning. It is oh, good. about let's yeah. go. nine o'clock. Let's let's go, friends. Time is of the essence, people. So, well, as you're leaving, um, you hear someone call out for you, and it is Ustar from the shop, and he's on a wagon, and and he and he calls out, and he's like, "Excuse me, you uh, you you might need this. It's it's quite a way," and and I figured. And if you're doing me a favor, you might as well have it. It, it, it. Take the horse. She's a good horse in the wagon. You'd you'd get there faster. What? What does the horse eat? What do you think? It's a horse. You never been near a horse before, friend? <laughs> no. I mean, we need what, to get food for the horse. No, no it's in the back. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. Look, I, I just. It, it, otherwise, it would take you days. Take the wagon. Like I kind of like clamber, like I'm like quite short, so I'm like clambering up onto the wagon and I kind of grab the reins and I'm like, yeah, I'll kind of settle myself and like, well, at least you know how to ride rooks or get in the back. So get in the back. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't know how to ride horses or carriage um, uh, Skank uh, goes up. Uh, sorry, what was your cat? Oh, Ro uh, Ronan, yeah. Uh, Skank kind of sort of sidles up to Ronan and sort of whispers, can you, could you give us a lift? Sure, buddy. Hey, I, I tried. To, I tried to lift him up to the wagon. Yeah, he sort of clambers on. It's like, oh yeah, that's easy. Easy. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I love him. He sort of sits it appears down that the great axe is just... heavier than I thought. Yes, yes, of course. It, well, it takes a great warrior to have to wield it. You know, he just sort of stoically looks in the distance, deliberately avoiding anyone's eyes. Are you imagining some kind of epic fucking spat clown scene or something, friend? Yeah. I also jump on the wagon. Oh, that okay, I'm assuming sure you set off. Yeah, I have. Yeah! Who's, yeah, who's taking right. the reins, by the way? Me. Oh, okay. I have. I was gonna say, I, <laughs> I, just, I just sort of imagined. <laughs> I just sort of imagined. <laughs> We're all just <laughs> sitting in the back and. <laughs> <laughs> Go! <laughs> as we get the horses to go, I'm ba is it one horse or two? Is it one horse? One. one. Yeah. So I'm basically having to like lean really far to the left and the right to see past the horse, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just kind of going. I'm going for it. I'm not letting it get in my way. It's just, uh, I just imagine no one's taking the horse and like, where we all sit in the back, there. like, who's taking the reins? What the hell? <laughs> you know where to go, horse. Oh. <laughs> But yes, I, <laughs> yeah, and I kind of like, yeah. lead on. Okay, so uh, you set off. Um, are you going quickly or just standard? Are you trying to race st 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 there? Standard pace for now. I think I don't want to tire out the horse. Yeah, yep. so just standard. So, right, so you leave the town. Um, the road stretches out in front of you. In the area of the world you're in, it's, it's quite bleak. Um, surrounded by kind of rocky moors that have kind of if you've ever been up to kind of lowland scotland it kind of looks like that just fields of moss and rocks protruding it's a bit bleak um as you go along there's not a lot of life here just kind of a few birds flying over you see a few snakes and a few lizards on the on the path in front um you've been traveling for about about six seven hours at this point and out in front of you, you can start to see what appears to be a kind of homestead in front of you. And you assume this is arguably where you 
where you should where you should be you start to see a few fields kind of come into view um the rain has now stopped but the ground is really quite muddy it's quite damp here you get the sense that the the storm that passed overnight is quite bad and as you arrive well not as you arrive as you turn a corner to as you start getting close to the farm um the cart really starts to get bogged down and you end up getting stuck in the mud can you all make a perception check for me oh yes let's go perception with that minus three that's <laughs> uh, 20 or yeah. minus three <laughs> minus three that's your 20 <laughs> nice I, i'm minus guessing so i'm guessing this perception is with the eyes yes okay well mine are currently closed because i had fallen asleep in the back of the car <laughs> <laughs> okay so as the car grinds to a halt the wheels getting stuck in the mud the horse straining away but you get the sense that without some heft this car is not going anywhere theodore and Roxhoy, you look out and you see a body lying just off the path and I shall bring you on to the map. Oh. Can you all see that? Ooh. Yes. Yes. So... Where are we to? You have come in from the top, so you're up here. I don't have a cart, but imagine a cart. Fine. We it's are imagining our cart. It's all good. I kinda, yes. I, I kind of pull on the reins. Get the horse nice and still, and I'm like, whoa, they're in there. Like, guys, up ahead. Is, I uh... see the body. Let <laughs> be dead. Let be dead, man. I'm gonna, like, stand up in the driver's seat and, and pull out my pistol. Hey, are we there? No, we found the dead man. Oh? This uh, might be a dead body. If I don't... Can, uh... Can I tell what the okay. uh, body looks like? Any features? Um, from where you are, you can tell it's a humanoid. Lots oh. of blood, but other than that, you'd have to get closer to really. It's not How one of the kids. How far you don't know. It? How is the horse doing? Sorry, did uh, you say humanoid, not human? Yeah, yeah humanoid. Okay, yeah, sorry. There, are, my brain there are two human, legs, then... two arms, and a body. Cool. You would know the kids are dwarves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, let's go and check out this body then. Look, the jump the off the guard. The okay. Yep, jump off. And, the and all of you go up to the body. Uh, I'm staying on the car. Um, I'm staying I'm high up vantage to... point, just kind of looking I around. I slowly us. move up to the body, uh, looking around, uh, being alert. I yep. uh, am not being alert and just casually strolling forward, <laughs> stretching, <laughs> seeing this. stretching and um, yawning. Seeing no. this, how, I decided to stand still and look around. How much mud is there for the car? How much mud is there for it until it's smooth? Until it's smooth? You're just kind of yeah. in a heavily trodden patch with a good okay. lift and a shove and a rally of the horse. You could probably get it out. Alright, I am now Rook's standing. Rook's going to help move it a bit. Rook's going to help move it so it's no longer as difficult for the move for the horse. Okay, well first off, before we get to that then, I will go crafty. You're by the body. Aye. Mm -hmm. And Ronan, are you staying there or are you going closer? I'm slowly moving up to the body. Okay. All uh, right. Yeah, uh, that's definitely our body. Gank, can, are you investigating or are you just looking at it and poking it? <laughs> I'll give it an investigation. Shoves the spear through it. They're definitely dead. <laughs> Dirty 20. Oh. Dirty 20. Nice. Um, so looking at this body, it has been massacred. It has no guts left. There's a hole in the torso, blood everywhere, eyes white and glazed over. It's clearly been here a while. And with 20, you would recognize that this matches the description of the son, of the shopkeeper's son. Uh, right. Yeah. Mates, we got some new good news and I got some bad news. Good news is oh. we found the shopkeeper's son. Bad news is we should have found him a few days earlier. He'd probably be in a better state than he is now. 
I'm gonna look around, look in all the fields. Can I see any movement at all that would indicate that there's somebody watching us or someone approaching? Uh, before you do that, I'll go yep. to Nathan. So, Rocktor, are you just trying to lift this thing on your own? Probably, yeah. You know what else is helping him? <laughs> Bear in mind, I am still in the car. Yeah. He's yeah. trying. He doesn't. He didn't know you got. He's still. You're still. He thought you got off. <laughs> do a strength check then. Strength. Oh. Oh. Eighteen. You heave and heave, but it ain't moving. Oh. And. Hey, Tiddy, I'm, trying to, make, I'm trying to look around. Oh, make a perception you. check, and with that jiggling, I'm going to give you disadvantage. Eight. Eight. I'm getting uh, distracted. I'm like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, since I'm at, since I'm at the body. See anything? Yep. yep. I look for any signs of struggle. Any, like, footprints? Any. I don't know, like scratches, any signs Make of fighting. An investigation check. Oh man, eleven. Um, an eleven. Clearly, a, a scuffle or something must have happened for him to be in this state. Um, you can, you get the sense that any tracks, the would have been here, got washed away in the storm. Um, mm. I know but it's... as you realise that, the horse suddenly gets very restless. It is bucking. It is not happy with its current situation. I, I grab the reins and try to like calm her down. Whoa, girl, come on! It S make an animal handling check. I'll do that. Definitely. Oh, no. listening to you. And See? as that happens, coming out from behind you over here, a huge, well, rather large, it's about the size of Rocktor, centipede like creature draws out over from this field. Oh, fuck. Do I know it's coming for me, or...? Uh, uh do... <laughs> do... Um... I, I imagine I'm distracted by the horse, so I have no idea. Yep. Yep, do I'm Do we not on a or anything? <laughs> seeing as you were pushing the car, you would no. not have seen him. He doesn't get... Uh, he doesn't get sneak attack or anything, but he does get advantage on the attack. Okay. And he, he is going to lash out with, with its tentacles. Surprise round! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Uh, where oh, are <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. All right, motherfucker. 22. Uh, a 22 Ooh. to hit. Yeah. I do not know this. And place. that's a 6. And I need you to make a DC 13 saving throw, please. Constitution uh, yeah, saving throw. Yep. Constitution. 17. Oh. Success. <laughs> 17. You are not paralyzed. Be very glad about that. <laughs> it's then going to make a bite all attack at you. For one minute. Oh, nine, so the bite misses. No, but no, everyone roll initiative. Oh. Uh, remember to get the, the chart up. Yes. We have to wait. Oh, okay, that's oh do you want to know what great about my initiative? Oh, no. <laughs> it's the initiative it. Oh, no. It's a <laughs> <laughs> There, yep. you go, there you go, got it. Don't worry, you're going to get an at 20. <laughs> I'm so quick drive on guys. A 10, Jesus. Oh, dude. <laughs> natural 20. <laughs> Crafty with that natural 20. <clears throat> Completely wasted. Wait, who hasn't got a natural 20 so far? Me. So right, come on. Step up your game. <laughs> it's usually someone that gets more. Thing is, I got yeah, I, I, I'm keeping them all skill. for the <laughs> Beyond the Horizon he campaign. He is. Yeah, I, valid. Minus. I have like I'm, I'm natural twenty on one of my minus stats. Yeah. <laughs> minus three as right. well. Like, Jesus. Yeah. So skank, <laughs> you turn wow. around and you see this hawking centipede-like creature the... that has just lashed out at your half-orc friend. What do you do? Well, the attacking the half-orc 
is is annoying but it's nothing compared to the fact that i see this thing is so large and massive it fills me with jealousy <laughs> and therefore <laughs> absolute rage uh, i go into a rage uh, and then i'll give up my action to uh, double my movement speed yep and yeah i'll run all the way up to it and i shall end my turn okay and yep that's ronan now Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I move. Mm. Yeah, I move into the middle. So we move here. Can I take a look at uh, look around? Can I see like any like signs of anything else moving except for this thing? Since it's you making a lot of a, noise now. You can make a perception check, yeah. Okay. Nah, you see nothing else. Well, I guess then I just use my action to dodge, and that's my turn. Okay. And that brings us to... Ooh, it's turn! <laughs> Oh God. Cena, it is going for Rock Tor, who is in front of it. It's just going to go again. So it will lash out with its tentacles. Yeah. Gods have decided. Yeah. 18 hits. That's another 6. And another DC 13 con save, please. Ah, no. <laughs> nah, and you fail. are paralyzed. So up until the end of its next turn okay and oh. it will then bite at you now with advantage 21 8 piercing damage uh it is a crit i believe right because it's paralyzed it means auto crit oh yeah oh oh damn well then <laughs> it's oh, time for the oh, chart oh, oh, however oh. he's got adamantine armor so it's not <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, it's still I couldn't remember who had, who had Adamantine. That's insane. All right. Well, well done, Nathan. Well done. <laughs> I have my big brain. Complete unintentional big brain. It's Damn. useful. <laughs> no, um, it's completely it, intentional big the brain. The sad thing is, it's now your turn, and I you're know. paralyzed, so can't do anything. Saving throw. Uh, uh, no, it's a... Uh, oh, yeah, you can do a saving throw. The end throw, of the yes. turn, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, what saving throw would it be? Oh, yeah. Same thing. Concept. Same thing. Nice. 18, you are no longer paralyzed. And I believe... Oh, that was fine. Yep. And with that, it is Teddy's turn. Ah, Jesus. And I pulled my pistol and I shoot it, the... shoot it with my pistol. Oh no, I love the noise. Do it. Yeah. Big bang explodes out. I have heightened senses, I'm going to go deaf. 22. 22 definitely hits. Uh, that's, oh, yeah, I apparently got it on auto rolling, so that's yeah, six piercing. Nice. I need to take that off auto rolling because I hate auto rolling. Do apologize for that one. Rafty, are you aware that your rage should fade now? Ah, nuts. Yeah, he didn't that's make fine. that. I'd say or... that you can retroactively now go into the rage now you've got closer. Fair enough. So I'll say, yeah, you now use your bonus action to go into the rage. Now, here. Now it's back to your turn. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, well, I go into a. I'm uh, gonna go into a frenzy. Nice. Uh, so okay. it means so for the duration of my rage, I can make a single melee at weapon attack as a bonus action. Uh, for each uh, turn after this one. Ah, so that means that happens next turn then, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. In which case, can I also activate my? Uh, Where's it gone? My reckless attack. Yeah, so reckless yes. attack doesn't take a bonus action or action. You just get to do I it. just go into reckless. Okay, sweet. So I'm going to take advantage, and I'm going to take a swing at it with my great axe. Yo. Yeah. 23. Good thing you got the advantage. Okay. And that's going to be seven slashing damage. Nice. 
Uh, is that you? That is going to be me. Alright oh, then. Uh, uh, rage uh, damage, Crappy. Oh, Ooh, yeah, rage damage. Nuts. I got you. Thank you, buddy. Give me. Uh, so it should be it? just plus two. Oh, yeah, just plus two. So that's nine. nine so, damage. nice. Cool. And Ronan? Mm. Uh, I take out the magical short sword. Uh, I will say you would have had time to attune to it on the way here if you would have liked to. Yeah. <laughs> Which I probably should have mentioned because it would have affected this. Yeah, I was probably thinking it anyway. it. <laughs> um, it is a weapon of warning. <laughs> uh, should have mentioned that, that one. <laughs> Um, you have advantage on uh, initiative rolls, and Wait, the what? party cannot be surprised. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been very yeah. helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling us now. <laughs> well, we so know now. It might what come in handy later. Morning. So, yeah, yeah it's just standard, sh standard short sword, but yeah, you cannot be surprised okay. and have advantage on initiative rolls. Can I fit there? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, I would say like it's not. It's kind of crawled over this fence now, so you could get oh, in and yeah, around okay. it. It's fine. Okay, well, I move up to it, and I guess I try to take a swing at it with my short sword. Go for it. Eight misses. So as as you swing, your sword gets wrapped up in one of its tentacly barbs coming out of its mouth, and you have to whip it back out before it swallows your sword. Ooh, that's, what that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. <laughs> uh, okay, so looking now that it's a bit surrounded, it's going to look at the one that it deems to be the easier snack. Which will be Skank Hank. Ah! I just. Seeing as the little thing came along and hit it, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? And it hasn't realized that the big one's not paralyzed when it thinks it is, so it's gonna hit you with a tentacle. Uh, oh! Yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, six okay. poison damage. Can it only do six? You know, you're just rolling max damage each time. Damn. Wow. Right, Constitution yep. save and throw with my plus five. Yep. Come on, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. The way you said it, I was like, it's it's, I, I it. was really, I was really <laughs> expecting on that one. <laughs> uh, it is going to swing in with a bite for you. Yeah, that's going to hit. Or six. Uh, three. I found the six halves yep. to three. Yep. Yeah, baby. Ah, tickles. That is its turn. Its mouth is like as big as your head, and it is just nipping out at you. Oh, it kind of reminds me of my ex girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nathan, it is you. Nathan. Nathan. Oh, I am not not. I'm speaking, but <laughs> I was apparently muted twice in two different ways. Okay, <laughs> I'm moving oh, back. All right, I'm gonna swing at it with my great axe. Go for it. That oh, definitely wow. hits. That definitely does all that damage. Jesus Christ! Wow. <laughs> that just fucked it up. You take a swing at it and it just collapses. It's got like thick kind of carapace hide like armor and you just obliterate a hole in it and go blood gushes all over you. <laughs> I really enjoy getting something like you. That'll be it <laughs> for now. Uh, that's Pete. I've kind of like stood up and to try and get a better angle I've got one leg on the cart and the other leg on like the back of the horse and I'm like leaning on it slightly like I aim over and I take a shot uh, 
Where the hell is the fast charge? Uh, 18. Yeah, that hits. Six piercing. I keep, I keep Six. rolling ones. It is starting to look quite rough. And that brings us back round to Crafty. All I believe right. that's the end of your turn, isn't it? Pete, that was the end of your turn. Uh, that is my, sorry, yeah, that is my turn, yeah, yeah. Now that my frenzy yep. is engaged, I will have two attacks. The first one with advantage. 21. Definitely hits. 11 damage, 9 of which slash. Right. And then I shall take a second swing. 16. They are both, they're both with oh. advantage, Crafty. Oh, are they? Oh, right. <laughs> Uh, Reckless of how do you want to do it? Turn. How do you want to do it? Doesn't matter either way. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You killed uh, it. <laughs> nice. Um, I dive as how how big is the hole in it that's been made in it? Uh, great axe width, so I'd say a good what? Five it's like four. two feet a hole after we ripped okay. it out. So I dive head first, and I go. I fall into the hole of the worm, and then you just see the axe come from within uh, spills out from its face so that the front of it splits, falls back with me just standing there completely encased in blood. Yeah! Take 30 acid damage. <laughs> <laughs> if it had a sitting ben? blood, you would have. <laughs> oh my god, is this Ben? Oh my but god. no. Oh. <laughs> nice. It is very much dead. Aye, that yeah, was a good warm up there, that one one. I kind of blow out the smoke from my pistol, spin it, holster it, but I'm, my thing, you can see my fingers still kind of twitching, and I'm looking around. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look and see if there's anything else coming. Make a perception check. I keep rolling super low. Uh, seven. Seven. Uh, no. I have a lot of water time. perception, and I can't get higher than You're blind, fuck! <laughs> nope. um, Am I able to investigate this uh, beast and see if it's like if it's anything's on it at all? Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, you can make an investigation check. Another uh, seven. Seven. I mean, it's not going to have any gold on it. Put it that way. <laughs> no, no, no. I just um, maybe something. It was a tap there, like it yeah. stuck on it or something. No, it is literally a big bug you figure you could maybe take some of its scales maybe some of its blood um its tentacles were you know de dealing poison damage so maybe I, I, it might be worth something I, I take a tentacle and i'd like to try to sort of uh like squeeze out some of the poison and put it on the edge of my great axe blade okay yeah yeah, I'll, yeah you can do that mm. i'll say the next the next attack you deal with it has a chance to, same thing, paralyze your oh, target. Nice. Okay. So I'll give you that for one. So for the next one attack. Yeah. Chance of poison. Uh, chance of uh, paralyze. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, Ronan looks around with his head still ringing from the gunshot because I have heightened senses. Oh, oh shit. That yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I look at the horse. How is the horse doing? The horse is freaking the fuck out. It oh, wants to leave and is fucking like mad. But can I can I try and get a grip on it and try and calm it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another yeah. animal handling. Yep. Hey, the uh, yeah. not enough. Yeah, I'd say you know it's a it's a fairly well trained horse. It starts to calm. Whoa, darling! And yeah. I kind of like lean forward and I'm like stroking its neck and I'm like, whoa, calm down, honey. I love the fact that he's like an old western man. <laughs> yep. Okay. So the horse is calm. The bug is dead. Nothing else appears to be coming at you. What do you wish to do? Uh, I'd like to go back to the body. Uh, now, at the on the on the picture, obviously there is a cart there that is broken over. I can only assume that is supposed to have gone with the uh, the body. So I want to see if I can investigate the cart and see if, uh, for one thing, if there's anything there worth salvaging, and two, if it's possible to move it out of the way. 
Yeah, um, I will say it's just kind of part of the map. The car isn't blocking the road for you. Um, you would just be able to walk, like walk past it, but to get the cart and the horse through would be a bit of a squeeze. Okay. All right, then I'll just investigate the uh, the remains of the cart and just see if there were anything worth salvaging. Again, Rukhtor will try to get this cart out of the mud. <laughs> uh, make an invest. Yeah, an investigation. Uh, there's what appears to be a few kind of rotten barrels of supplies, you know, some veg, some meat in barrels of salt that have spilled out. Meat appears to have been eaten, that which wasn't covered too much in salt. There's things of grain that appear vaguely all right, but waterlogged to hell. Other than that, nothing of note. I'm wondering if this worm, wherever it was, is the reason why this young man met his end. Anybody able to know a thing or two about types of wounds and able to tell if it was or if something else killed it? I'll um, I'll, I'll give it a go. I don't know what kind of check it will be, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll jump down. I'll pat the horse on the side of the head and say, "Stay calm, girl." And I'll, I'm gonna kind of like walk over to the body and can I see if there are any, like I'm gonna compare wounds on 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 my comrades like where the stingers have hit see if there are any matching wounds on the body make a medicine or nature check your choice well medicine i have plus two and nature i have plus one so <laughs> take the plus two <laughs> 12 well um <laughs> so if you look at rock toys you know these tentacles have kind of wrapped around it a bit like a was like a a jellyfish they've got kind yeah. of barbs in there that have kind of and that's where the poisons come in um when looking at the body you get the sense you see those kind of similar markings but they're different they're more like they've been used to tear open the his torso they one of these bugs definitely ate him however he is also 12 i'd say you notice that it doesn't appear to be the cause of what okay, killed him. So I, I don't know what killed him. They were they, mm. they interacted maybe after his death, maybe. Yes. Huh. There are, there seems to be something else around. Kind of like lean like lean on almost like I'm crouched down. I kind of lean on my my knees and I'm like, hmm. Poor boy. Um. Oh, hopefully we can find his sister. Uh, maybe. There's... If we're going to continue on, anybody got any sheets or anything that cover this boy's, old boy's body? In? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was going you to look around for. You find some in or that cart you investigated. Put in the thing and hope and bring it back to the family. We'll do that, I think, once we finish the mission. Uh, I mean, we can put this body on the cart. Hey! That's what it was. We had to wrap it up first. Which cart? I, I think maybe oh. taking a body with us wouldn't be the best play. I don't think we can go up the path of the cart because uh, Rumpel was just saying it would be a bit of a squeeze to get the horse and cart. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. assuming that's you a could You could try and move the... Yeah, you could if you wanted to spend some time and move those carts out of the way, you could get your cart through. Did you oh, say okay. we're at a building? We're at like a barn or something at the moment? No, no, no. The farm kind of stead is yeah oh, okay farmstead uh, area rather than yeah is is not far ahead of you you can see kind of there's trees surrounding it but you can see the kind of tops of buildings um yeah you're you're about a kilometer and a half away if that i i don't know if i want to leave the horse here in the open if uh if any of more of those beasties come along does, she won't last does anyone want to help me clear the yeah, roads look so helping look so coming I I'll give you help there, meaty. Okay. Like... Um, I I will say I won't make you make a check, but yeah, you all between all of you, you do manage to shift a path wide enough to get your cart through. Get back on the cart, and I'll just like kind of ease it gen gently, gently through. You hadn't got it out of the mud yet. Oh sh! Fuck, we haven't. Uh, we need to move the bed oh, out the way. It's fine. It's fine. I will say that between all of you again, you are able to. Get it out, and you can continue on your way. Someone, <laughs> they're like, "Oh yeah, we're stuck in the mud still." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So what what do we do? So, what did we agree we're doing with the body? I don't know. You guys want to leave it here? I don't want to leave it here because then it might Not get here. eaten up uh, while yeah, we're I away. Then put it on the wagon. Area. Yeah. Well, is there like we said we found a sheet? Could we wrap it in a sheet and put it on the wagon? Yeah. In those carts you've moved, there were sheets like yeah. tarpaulins that were over the cart. You could take yeah. stuff from there. So we'll wrap it in, wrap it in that, and kind of lay it, lay him there. Yeah. Hold him up. <laughs> Throw him in. <laughs> Okay. Who's carrying him? Rook to probably for carrying him, frozen him. <laughs> so, by okay. this time, after all that, the sun is very much setting. No. Um, it's getting oh. quite late. Do you make your rest of the way to the village? Rook to well, to far. Sleep. Since this I... area seems to be dangerous, I... we yeah, should move I... on. I feel hanging around in the dark is probably a bad idea. Let's move forward a bit, but we still need sleep. Yeah, I'm I'm like, I'm almost guiding the reins with one hand now, and I'm ready to draw my pistol at basically any any sort of sound that like sets me yep. off. Okay. I'm sitting on the, the back of the cart, watching the path we come from. And Rooktool's falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... So, as you approach the outskirts of the farm, the air just seems stagnant it is still um and just a scent a smell hits you can you all make a perception check which i believe uh, with your it is to do with smell i believe you get advantage yep. uh, 19 who gets a who gets advantage because perception uh Saron gets advantage okay i'm just making sure you <laughs> it's it's fine so you who what do we get I got a 19. 19. Yeah. Oh, I clicked it. There we go. 15. So, Rock Tour, Ronan, and Theo, you would all know this is the spell of decay. There are definitely, this is rotting flesh and death. However, Theo, you also recognize the smell of these worm creatures. Like, it had a kind of. Being around it when you killed it, it had a kind of almost metallic smell, which you assume mm -hmm. might have been from the poison. You get yep. the sense there may be more ahead. Uh, look to Chance, I think there are more of those, as those things will. up ahead. Uh, look to smell a lot of death. I move on. I'm, I'm going to slow the horse down and move on slowly. Okay. It's not not going as a, like a jogging pace. This is like a, almost like a walk at this point, so I can be even more aware of anything coming towards us. Yep. Uh, I keep my hand on my you. weapon of war warning. Can I... Over. <laughs> can you all see that? Yes. Map? Yes. Yes. Cool. So, as you approach, why well, is that still there? Can so I you're have... approaching from this top bit, kind of this direction. Where? Up, Up top here. here. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. So, as you're coming in, you can see these three main buildings, there's a well in the middle. And there are two of these creatures devouring a horse. Well, what's left of a horse. Just snacking away. Uh, if Seeming one wasn't bad enough, enough, there's more of them. They haven't seen you yet. They seem to be a little preoccupied with their dinner can I... uh, as we've gone by the way like i've reloaded my my gun so i have four shots yeah. in again. Cool. can i take a potion of health you can um on the way here you would have had like as you yeah, crept in you had enough time to take as many as you i just want like. to take one but i can't remember what the fucking roll is again uh one d4 plus... plus oh yeah two d4 sorry yeah two d4 plus two yeah oh lovely Then you said plus two, was it? Yeah. Yep. Cool. So, Thank five. You. Thank you. Not enough, but here, here it would do So, something. can I ask what you're on, sorry? Just because... You're on... I think I know. Cool, I'm just keeping a track of people's health. I'm only not a lot. I've only got 18 at the moment. Uh, I'm currently okay. on 39. My Rookdor was yes. trying to sleep on the cart. He was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Badly not so easy to do on the move. So, what do you wish to do? You're still on the car. 
Art? Uh, I'm I'm I, I believe I'm stealthy enough to try to sneak up on is those this, two. Is, is this a fight we want to take? I mean, I could investigate down the road and see if there's anything else we need to be aware of. Just be careful, friend. Can I? I'm gonna. Again. I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna take out my musket off my back, and I'm just gonna like aim at one of them. Oh. Okay, I'm going to try my pistol. Aim my musket. I'm not yep. particularly stealthy, but I would uh, I... be could I'd be cautious of how I move. Rukthor remains in the carriage, knowing he's not the most quietest of people. I move up thirty feet. Can I see anything else now? Uh, no, just go. Okay, you're forty feet um, away from. Quick me. question: When a mm -hmm. when you would the adamantine armor replace the chainmail armor? No, adamantine is yeah. like um. Uh, adamant, I think adamantine goes on top of or as well as like it's adamantine chain or something. Well, no. Okay, I just wanted to ask. It's it's the material the armor is made from. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to ask. It's just like, ask. yeah. So you basically have you have chain armor with the non crit ability, basically. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I just wanted to ask just to make sure. It's all good. Can I? Uh, you you have keen senses, don't you? Uh, uh, for smell when it comes and to sound, hearing. Yeah. Hearing, you can hear what kind of gurgling murmuring from over here you can't quite see it because it's blocked by the house but there you hear something over there over where sorry uh this side of the house sorry oh that okay yeah if you were to move kind of over here kind of down this way you would probably be able to see it Okay. But if you were to move any closer, you would have to make a stealth roll. Uh, I turn around and look at my companions with a concerned face. And I decide to go on and move behind okay. the wall of this house. Make a stealth check for me. Rookthor's rolling dice inside the back of the car. Take the first one. I mean, it's fine. You all beat their perception. They did not notice you. Uh, I, um, okay, can, I will... can I see anything down the road this way? Yes, I'll say, Crafty, just for you move, you do see what appears to be two undead creatures, zombies, oh. kind of just meandering towards this body in front of them. I move in the direction of Ronan. Oh no. Oh no. It's alright, I haven't gone too much far. I haven't gone far, but I'm only about where you can see me. Just sort of keep it a healthy distance. Uh, like, how well can I see those undead since... <clears throat> because it's, I'm a blood hunter, I have... It's dusk. It's not quite night yet. There is still a bit of light, so I'd say you can all see them. Well, you can see them fairly well. No one else has seen them yet. Can I... Can I make a history check? On what are my... you trying to work out? I'd like to figure out what type of undead they are. Yeah, you can. I would say make, make a perception check. Perception? Yep. <sighs> Mm. Beat. <laughs> Since I have Hunter Spain, mm -hmm. I have like advantage on tracking for like tracking and information against Fey fiends and undead. Um, they are definitely undead. So, do I have advantage on the perception or no? <laughs> You have advantage of wisdom survival checks to track yeah. fey fiends or undead. So yeah. it's, it's whether not it's, the perception, um, it's, as well yeah, as on intelligence. Because you're just trying to look yeah, at like you're not tracking yeah. that there. So yeah, so you, it's intelligence checks to recall information and survival checks to track them. So it depends yeah. whether you count you're not that. tracking them. You're just trying to work out what they are. So just so intelligence yeah. checks. Just, just do a straight perception check. 
First one. Oh! Natural, natural 20. 20. Ooh, Looking at them, they, uh, they look like just your bog standard undead. They appear to be in stable hand clothes, farmer's clothes. They appear to be, for whatever reason, undead people that once lived here. I will they're, try to make nothing it. Nothing special about them. They are just bog standard zombies. They're dead people that are no longer dead. I will try to make it back up the road. Okay, make one more stealth check for me. Ah, oh. seventeen. Ooh. No, you're fine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you were close. Uh -oh. The doubt in Rumpel's voice terrified me. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Ronan, I, I, I... Ronan, what did you see? There appears to be undead. An undead it what? Looks, it, it looks like the villagers have been turned into undead. How does the horse seem? The horse right now at the distance, and I imagine you would have been keeping it calm, fairly unfazed at the moment. Mm -hmm. I, if I would say you would know that it's probably not a good idea to get it any closer. I, I, I like stroke its neck and I like can't try and keep it calm. I walk up to the other two and yeah, okay, guys. It appears that the farmers here are on dead now. Oh, you see that house over there, mm -hmm. just behind it. That appears to be two undead. They didn't do anything. I don't know. They seem to be kind of distracted by something. They didn't. They weren't doing anything. Huh. So it sounds like it's best to leave. Not and it looks like the worms don't care about them. Is this? What are our thoughts on this, guys? Are we are we gonna clear them out, or are we gonna like? Leave them to it. Well, I'm thinking we need to see if there are any more survivors here. There might be people held up in one of the houses. We should try maybe sneaking around to start with. Oh, great sneaking looks so not good at this. Uh, does it look like there's a door on this wall or on this front? Uh, there would be a back door. Yep. Around. Which building? Oh. I'm gonna, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry Back guys. Door, uh, couple windows. You could, you could, you could quite possibly get in there. I'm not sure I'm the, the stealthiest bastard of the bunch. And I'll kind of like, take a hilt of my pistol, like tap my shirt and you'll hear like chain mail, kind of like. Right <laughs> yeah, you see Rooktar kind of tap his chain mail underneath his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> guys, like, guys, I'm, check... I'm getting like rid of it. them just because being around there, you won't be able to see them. Yeah. But from there as well, um, this crawler crawls off over to this body and starts shrinking down on him. Uh guys I will try to I will try to open the door to that oh. building. The back door to that building. Uh, let's go to that building and look inside. <laughs> Wish me luck guys. <laughs> Look's all follows you as kind of dead in itself. Okay. He screams. <laughs> Look's all stabbing him in the back. <laughs> Oh, I meant like monsters inside. If you're <laughs> stabbing him in the back, is the way you want to go. No. <laughs> I just tried to open the door without do like doing anything without. fancy. I just tried to open it. Yep. It opens. Oh. I I peek through the small opening that I made by opening the door a little. Do I see anything? Hear anything? Uh, there are no lights. There is. Thank you, Crappy. Um, yeah, no lights are on. A very foul smell hits you, which, much like the smell of this whole place, just stinks of rot and decay. Um, make a perception check for me. You do have advantage. Do have, okay. Because it is a sound. No. Sound, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, totally. 11. Nope. Oh, how dark is you it? You don't in hear there? anything. How dark is it in there? 
there's a little bit of light picking through the window oh, oh, as the sun in. is setting, but Rook not a lot. Rook still looks in. Dark vision. <laughs> okay. Rook's um, dark vision. Is my... Make is... a perception check. Ah, yes. Good old half-orc with minus three it's perception. Yes, let's go. <laughs> um, you look in, there is a big pool of blood on the floor. In... I see blood. Like a kind of living quarters area. There's a big pool of blood in that. Look, still see okay, blood. Then. But look, still see nothing else but that blood. Is is my weapon of warning doing anything? Is it is it standing still, <laughs> or is it like I, mean, I don't know how it's like? <laughs> is it glowing blue? Um, <laughs> is it glowing? You can't get surprised. Um, but yeah, right now nothing is looking to leap out and attack you, so no, it's not doing okay, anything. Okay, I, I, uh, I open the door and try to go in. Okay. I'll follow him. Uh, okay, the two of you go inside. Let me do just do have do a do quick do look, because I think I only have the up floor here. Yeah. Sadly, my map own. Yeah. Anyway. That's fine. Get that to a minute. What are the other... What are you, Pete and Crafty, what are you guys doing? Are you joining them? Um, I'm, I'm going to stay with the horse. Okay, go stay with the horse, Crafty. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to take a step back and stay with the horse as well for this one. Okay, so you two go in. I will say that. Sorry, what's him? Ronan, you notice that that pool of blood in. Well, first off, you walk in. It's a fairly nice house. It appears to be the main farmhouse. Um. The owners of the farm would have lived here. You would have gathered. Um, you walk into basically the pantry area um, and coming through into the kitchen. And just off there is kind of kitchen open living area where the pile of blood is. There's... It, it, the area appears to be messed up, but not like it's looted. Just like it's been here a while with no living people in it. Um, and that big pool of blood you see on the floor appears to be dripping from upstairs. Mm. Can I can I see any stairs? Yes, there are stairs. Would you like to invest are they wooden stairs? stairs? They are wooden stairs. Oh, that's going to make a lot of noise. <laughs> we have <clicky> stairs. <laughs> We're worried about the green can uh... they actually just shatter upon you putting your weight on them. I, pre <laughs> I prepare my shield and sword sword and I okay. start going up the stairs. Okay, so I will move on to this map here, and so just be aware, so obviously Pete and Crafty, you're not in this building. That's cool. You two would be out over to the bottom of the map, mm -hmm. but then you would appear up this stair, up these stairs up here, you two. And the doors are open so you can see into this room here oh, hi -ho. from there um and you can see through here there appears to be a, you would be able to see like the hand of this body here if you looked straight down and you can appear there is something in the bed okay. so this door is open right here yes and you can see a bloody mass on the bed Okay, I walk into the room. Can I see anything else in the room? Make. Uh, are you just looking around or are you searching? Just looking around. Uh, just looking around. There, under the sheets. There. Well, sorry. There. Uh, in the bed, there is obviously something in the bed. There's dried, crusty blood and a sheet covering it. Something is in the bed. There's blood, kind of on the walls and the floor. Other than that, nothing else really. The drawers aren't open. The other bed's untouched. It's yeah. Okay, I move close to the bed and before doing anything with the blanket, I look for any signs of fighting. Actually, no. I'll stay here. For no signs of fighting. Actually, making invest. Uh, well, I will say. I've already said it now. No, <laughs> there are no signs of fighting. Interesting. Okay, raising my shield, I slowly 
take off the blanket. See what's uh, It is a bloodied body of a child. Yeah. Clearly dead. Poor boy. Does it match girl. the description of the girl? No. Much younger. Poor, mm -hmm. poor child. That way. Can I... Uh, uh, figure out what kind of wound, like, what killed them, basically. Mate. Uh, medicine check. Medicine. Actually, I would say, again, yeah, medicine or nature, your choice. Actually, no, medicine check first. And then you might be able to make a nature check later. Yeah, I'm going down this way now. Oh, so this one. 18. Nice. Okay, so... Th the body is in a fetal position. And you kind of get the impression this girl died in this position. And in the back of her head, just below her skull, there is a puncture wound. And that is the only visible wound. A singular puncture wound in the back of her head. Do I roll for nature now? You can roll for a nature check. Imagine rolling the same thing all left. 14. You've never... Is this you... one of the creature types? Well, one it's... The... You, you get the sense that... Creature types. Oh yeah, is it... Is it anything related to... They... Fiends. Yeah. Uh, no. They wouldn't... Uh, okay. Actually, yes. Oh. So, that would be... It would class... The yeah, advantage, yeah. So you can do an so, advantage on the nature check. So just roll it again. Oh. Didn't make uh, a difference. Nope. Worth checking. Um, so, you've never come across. The wound is too small to be a weapon, say. Um, it's too small to be a spear or any kind of, or a lance or anything like that. It's giving you, you don't know what's done it. But given the fact the body is pale, it's white as a ghost. It's giving you images of mosquitoes. Something oh. that dabs and sucks the blood. You're getting the impression of. But not yet. Yeah, yeah. That's what you get. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Nathan, what are you doing in there? I'm going down here. I'm going to see what what are these two bodies looking like, kind of, in a way. Um, look, just looking or investigating? I'm guessing I'll say investigating and see what happened with these two. So I'm guessing I okay. at this point, like, had more dark vision. <laughs> so, which one are you investigating first? If you're full on getting in there and investigating, you can only do one at a time. I'm going to say I'll stall this one first. So I'll, I'll look at this guy first. The guy first, okay. So, or girl, whichever one it is. make an investigation check. Oh, how's it go? <laughs> oh, at least it's okay. 14? Um, you get the sense he, he died fending something off. There's multiple slashes and gashes across his face and torso. Um, he's laying in a big pool of kind of dried blood. Um, other than that, do you want to... That's what you can tell about how he died. Is there anything else? No, he just kind of goes, at least you died a warrior, my friend. And then look at this. Uh, I will say with that, you can see there is something in his pocket. I'll see what it is, probably. There, well, there is a small pouch of gold and a crumpled note. I'll read the note before I pocket the gold. Who can I read the note? Okay, so it's a very bloody note. Um, what language is kind it? Of just in common. Okay. Um, you can't read it all because of the blood, um, but you get the gist that... Hold on, let me just find my notes here. <laughs> notes with inside notes, nutty. <laughs> Noteception. <laughs> So it's a note that um, writes that looks like it was for the intention of um, the local military 
kind of guard of the area. Um, the gold appears to be the postage for it to be sent. Um, and it talks of people going missing, um, uh, strange sounds coming out at night, the water in the well has turned foul, and everyone's very worried. There's other bits on there, but with the blood, you can't make out what the rest of it says. So it's probably just being forest. Water going foul, you said. Yep. Ooh, I can't remember all of it, but I'll have that put down at least. So I'll pocket the note. So, oh, people have been to... going missing. He was worried. Yeah, I put people missing. That's yeah. about as much as I got down as well. So, I'll pocket the note for everyone else to read. And I'll also yep. be like, yep, my gold now. <laughs> Okay, well, you get I don't you, need you, it. you get two gold pieces oh, yeah. and, a, <laughs> and five silver. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, um, oh, no, look at this, uh, this woman. Or... Okay, well, as you walk over there, you hear a thud from an attic space. Okay, it looks all stand still and just look up at the attic with his axe in hand. Okay. You would know that over in this space here, there is a hatch in the ceiling. I'm not going up there alone, so I'll still look at this body. Okay. Make an investigation check on the body. Investigation check, you said? Yep. Double checking. <laughs> Lovely. <minus> 16. <laughs> well. We're rolling really well with these. Um, I have a minus two. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> um, again, this woman appeared to have died in this position. There's no sign of a struggle. And again, that same, not that you know it's the same, but punch a wound in the back of the head. Again, appears white as a ghost. Not as warm I like sad times. Uh, what do you find, friend? around just to see if he can see his friend behind him. Looks like he can. <laughs> Let's see if Ronan's caught up to him. Ronan, have you caught up to him? Oh yeah. I've been walking well slowly. Since I heard the thud, I stood still. <laughs> yeah, it looks like yeah, holding his axe. He's like, yeah, I heard a big thud. Don't want to go alone. Look, I, I whispered to uh, Rockthor. Did you punch the ceiling? <laughs> you think look, look to might be dumb, but look to not that dumb. How loud are you two being right now? I was whispering. <laughs> look to is <laughs> not Rock very you whispering. I'm going to say yes right now. Rock to not very quiet, but he's uh -oh. trying his best. But he's speaking normally. <laughs> Ish. Uh, both you make a perception check, and I would say the two outside also make a perception check. Uh, do I have advantage or no? Yes. Uh, have we noticed any change in the movement of the creatures outside? Uh, they're this? still oh sagging. What's this? 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 You don't hear anything. Ronin, you hear from upstairs a kind of like tapping, like very almost like footsteps accompanied with like a like a ratty kind of sucking sound appearing to come from upstairs. Theo, with your 20. Um, oh, Crafty, you rolled as well. Crafty's still here. Crafty? Hi, yes, hello, what? Perception. Uh, Perception. Roll, roll Perception. Ah, right, okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da no, 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 it's because we're you two being inside. I thought, well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not part of this. Four. Oh, <laughs> he also got a four. And you're definitely what? not a part of it now. <laughs> um, Theo, you 
nothing appears to be changing outside. The big centipede-like things are kind of just going from body to body, snacking away. Still haven't really seen you guys yet. They appear to be quite busy. The zombies that he mentioned haven't come around that corner, so you still haven't seen them yet. But at the corner of your eye, there's a window at the top in like a third floor little window, and you see a flash of something up there. Like a light or like a faster? No, like a ah. shadow. Okay. Like, cool. there's not a lot of light up there. Like, the reflection of the moon is kind of all the light you've got. Mm -hmm. But you know when you see something at the corner of your eye? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You saw, some, you saw something up there. I turned to um, Skank and I'm like, there's something up there. I don't think they're alone. Maybe we should be going inside. I think maybe you're right. Then let's go. I'm going to unattach the horse from the cart. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kind of turn them so they're facing one that. And I'm just going to kind of just make sure that out of the cart like the cart's like harness so that if they need to run they can yeah just yeah just loose yeah. so that the moment mm -hmm. they want to like it they can and there's nothing that's going to get in their way or restrict them yeah okay and then, yeah and then i'll kind of like lower myself down and go with go to skank mm -hmm. i'm assuming this is happening while me and uh rock yes. are so they're the now making their way inside and you two are there, and you heard, you definitely heard something up there. You want to wait for the other door? They want to go get the other door? I... I I'm really curious to what what's challenge? upstairs. It could be someone still us. alive, hiding. True, or it could be someone who wants to escape. Uh, wait, do I also see the hatch going to the attic? Yeah. It's oh. it's to the point where you'd have to use, like, a sword or an axe or something to push it open, and then someone would have to either... You'd have to get something to stand on to get up there. Like, it's too high to just be able to get through. You need to get something to get up there. Do I, do I see any chairs, tables that are sturdy enough? You, this counter here, yeah? You could center that, and if someone were to hold it to make sure it's stable, you could use that. I mean, a doctor could also lift me up. <laughs> I'm not lifting and that's your other option, yeah? Okay, is the hatch like above this tile? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Does it look like the hatch is locked in any way? No. Okay. It's just um, like it appears to just kind of be a plank, like a couple planks of wood, over a hole in effect. Hmm. Open it. Okay. So. Uh. Okay. I whispered, doctor. I whisper. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to confirm. <laughs> Can you give me a lift? I mean, we have to open the. Door. I want. I want to peek to see what's upstairs. I mean, it's still closed. Yeah, they can lift it a little and peek. Okay, what's I, inside. fine, I'll lift you up. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, how much do you weigh? I hope you're not heavy. I hope you haven't been eating junk food. I shouldn't weigh that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I a hope human. you haven't been eating cake, my friend. <laughs> does, does, does junk food even exist in this world? <laughs> it's called cake. Yeah. I <laughs> went to <laughs> McDonald's recently. <laughs> it came back to us recently, yeah. I think so I weigh like 100 kilograms together with my equipment. You fat boy. <laughs> okay, does he need to do any strength checks or anything to lift uh, me? Yes, make a strength check. Oh, anyone? Yeah. <laughs> he lifts you up, he's kind of bracing your feet you've got one hand on the ceiling you can push open that hatch if you wish and i do it stealthily to like stealthily peek. i'm not so like opening just kind the hatch. Of... i'm just okay. lifting it up a little to see what's inside okay make a perception check oh perception is this with advantage or 
no, because you're just lucky. Oh no. Nine. <laughs> you definitely don't see anything. But while you're there, give me a moment. Ooh, acid in the face. <laughs> acid in the eyes. Acid in the eyes. You go blind. You rely solely on sight and, and smell. And on I mean, I, ha I have a weapon of warning, so if there's something coming. <laughs> yep. You can't be surprised. I'm it... kind of holding you, so. Yep. So you don't see anything. You can keep going if you want. The weapon of warning is not screaming at you. Very well then. I opened the I would, say, I would say at this point, you two downstairs have come inside. Mm -hmm. So we you two are now on the bottom stairs. floor. Go yeah, so I'll make you way like, to the stairs. Him. I opened okay. the hatch. You, you open the hatch. Do I okay, see anything so now? Out of, if you've opened the hatch, how far through are you? Are you through through? Uh, I'm not up, but the hatch is like... Uh, up enough that my head is like fully <laughs> upstairs. Your head is fully inset. Okay. <laughs> okay. As it is, the Do I weapon see of warning. Uh -oh. The weapon of warning. You feel it rattle in its sheath, and you look down, and then while Brockt was holding you up, you kind of instinctually spin your head. And a black mass. Now it's so dark up there you can't see it until it's right at your face. And this humanoid bat like creature with this long, probing, almost anteater like snout lashes out at your head. And it's going to be a 17 to hit. I have 18 AC. That doesn't hit. Oh, it doesn't hit. Okay. I think this is going to drop him down. I would say, yeah. So, well, actually, no. No, yeah, yeah, you would have. Yeah, because the party can't be surprised. So, yes. This thing screeches out and lashes at you as you just plop it through the floor. I just hear the screech and I just drop him. And the hatch closes since I'm not holding it up anymore. What was that, Crafty? Would we have heard this from downstairs? Yes. Ah, did you catch that? Uh, oh, I heard that uh, I heard something. Let's, let's go. Let's go, yeah. There we go. We, well, uh, I'm, I'm kind of like gingerly stepping because I hear the chainmail rattle every time I move. So I'm like, <laughs> as I'm, as I'm <laughs> quite <laughs> small kind of and uh, not weighed down by any armor, I, I quite quickly run up the stairs. Okay. Kind of Wait, can me? Uh, can... All good, your head's Can down. Ronan and Doctor hear this? Running about on <laughs> downstairs. Yes. So you two make it upstairs. Okay, I, I as, put... <laughs> as that happens, you hear a smash of a window. Oh, oh great. Oh, fuck. And then you hear another smash of a window. Oh, oh. Uh oh. There's more. There is more. And it appears smashing through. Oh, Jesus. Whoa! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. <laughs> the house is gone! <laughs> it's not supposed to be that big. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> the whole house is gone. Nightmare. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Picks up the house and carries us all. <laughs> Picks up the entire house from its foundation. Oh, God, lifts it up. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> that guy looks like my ex-boyfriend! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how great. Many, this is going to be fun. How many do you have? You also not like fun. So it bursts not through enough. that window. <laughs> At the same time, following you up the stairs, Oh. <laughs> is this. What the hell is that? What the hell? <laughs> so you then turn around, Theodore, as you hear it. <laughs> like slopping its way up the stairs it, it's like a living sack of skin oh just standing. it's 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 your you look at it and it is just a skin sack there's no bones in there and it's just slopping its way up the stairs i kind of like catch a bit of vomit in my mouth <laughs> 
and you hear a n and you start hearing thuds downstairs, like knocks at a door. Uh oh. And everyone can roll initiative once I've got the thing up. <laughs> That's fine. You might need to clear it because otherwise we're going to yeah. get double. But move all. I'm sure you want Come to on. clear the Yes! Yeah, no, no RNG gods! Why do you hate me so? Uh, me too. Um, <laughs> Ten. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, you have advantage, remember, because of the sword. Oh. Yes. And it... Oh, and... <laughs> it went down by one. Cool. And they all rolled the the two. Boneless. No. Oh, that sounds awful. This I was hoping I'd get things Pete, that you hadn't heard of. <laughs> I haven't. Yeah, I've not heard of any of these. This is awesome. The fuck is a subtle blush? <laughs> So uh, I don't know why it's called that, because it shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know why it's called that. I think because I made it using a character thing accidentally. It's uh, actually okay. called a Strigoi. Yeah, it, it says on the initiative Strigoi. Oh, that's fine. It's probably the icon has been named Sopulach or something. Yeah. Okay, so it is the bonus first. So, Theo, as you turn around and see this slopping mass make its way up the stairs, it reels back onto its two legs and leaps at you mm -hmm. to do a slam attack. My armor class is 16. So... That's a 30. So no, it misses. Sadly. it So it lunges at you and you kind of dodge to the side against the wall and it just slops against the stairs. And that's its turn. It's now Something you. Something out of a freaking horror movie. Alright, um... <laughs> This is now my D&D story. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna risk the opportunity, opportunity attack, and I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna step away from it. Yep. It uh, will it... take that opportunity attack. The That's 20, that 20. Will hit. shit, yep. Alright, hits me. Four bludgeoning, I take Four. it. And then I'm gonna shoot at it. Go for it. <laughs> Sorry for the noise, folks, and I'm just gonna pull the trigger. Oh, 21. no. Oh, really? oh, 21 definitely hits. Well, this uh, house isn't good to this. I love this. Yeah, I do apologize. Uh, seven piercing. Nice. And a lot of you will just hear this loud bang as the, the pistol is fired. We know who that is. I <laughs> yeah, we do. know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> just looks so turn <laughs> like, like, yeah, And we, then it is grab. the Strigoi's turn. Who is going to... Fly straight at. Oh, can make that sure. Oh, make and, that. Uh, can I actually take a few steps more? I'm just gonna get the other side you of the can do. barbarian. It's coming straight in for you, Nathan. Oh, so great. If you're in the you way. Me, you piece of shit. <laughs> I have an axe. It's making a probosic attack. Oh. No. What is twenty hit? Seventeen. Oh, yay! A lovely and... twenty. Look at that twenty. And yeah. 17 damage. It gains HP equal to the necrotic damage dealt. Wow. Yeah. What? Oh, oh dear. This should what? be fun. Considering <laughs> that's oh. what, how many D6? That's 3D6. Holy crap. Ow. Uh, Ow. Don't worry me. That's all it can do. It does not have multi attack. Thank God. I am happy being summoned. What HP? <laughs> so that's its turn. I oh my God! You you realize it? You realize it rolled a one on its first attack on the first damage thing. The the piercing yeah. is a D10 and it rolled a one. Oh yeah, the Nathan piercing is not what you want to worry about. If it rolled any, any higher. <laughs> yep. I should have took all of my healing potions. You want to call Jen and see if she wants to join? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been nice to have that cleric they were talking about. <laughs> we're so screwed. Um, uh, Rodan, it's on you. Mm. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. <laughs> Are we doing the flanking rules on this one? Yes. For this one, yeah. I might do another one shot where we don't, but for this one. 
Cool. I have a feeling it might be hard enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you might be right. <laughs> okay, I I run around it. Yep. With the intention of flanking it when yep. it's focused on Doctor. Mm-hmm. Leave him. <laughs> Run. Hmm. Let me alive. Doctor will be sad and he will call you. The question is, is it head. time? Let's it's say it's time. not time yet. It, it's not time. Just uh, yet. Time. Not just yet. Are you sure? It time. Seems like it might be. I have one HP. Mm. You don't have to, but this feels like a problem. <laughs> It does, and it's I'm a hard decision down. to make. It's your decision to make either way. Well then, I, I will. I will just go with the short sword for now, for this mm -hmm. turn, and see what happens next turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, is it looking at Rokter? It is. So you do get attacking, uh, so you get advantage. Ah, he's my short sword. And I stab at it. <laughs> Let's see if that does anything. Take the first roll. Oh, never mind, it's all the dice. Uh, get advantage. 18 does hit. So, that's uh, 7 point. Yep, 7 yeah. damage. Yep, 7. Nice. Uh, anything else? Can I... Since I heard two windows breaking. Yeah, I, I will say like... you get the impression that was it breaking the window in the attic and then flying back in through the other window. Oh, okay. Then that's my turn. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Crafty. Okay then. Uh, given my distance, I'm actually going to... Let's just check here for a sec. Is this a room here? Behind... Uh, what, the back? Yeah. Yeah, and right. just like a little kind of storeroom cupboard type thing. Okay, I'm just going to back up a little bit more, and I'm mm -hmm. going to use, with my chain of returning, I'm going to throw my great yes. axe at the, yes. at the creature in front of me. Uh, I am not Do going it. into a rage, though. Is that a get over uh, here? Is that a ten? Yeah. Ten over hit? Here. Ten. No, misses. Okay. I will then use the chain. Uh, I need to use a strength. Uh, yes, a strength DC check. 12, I think it is. Yeah. Come on. Oh, i got to do it with disadvantage as well. Ugh. It does Wait, Why are you why disadvantage? Because I've got a level of exhaustion for using rage. Is that attack rolls already? Ability checks. Attack for oh 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 yeah. No, because you didn't go into a reckless rage. No. I thought that was what. No no no. Every every time in. I've gone into a rage, uh, I after that I go into a level of exhaustion. That's frenzy rage. For how yeah. long? A frenzied rage earlier. Yeah. No, you just did reckless attack. Oh no, it was a frenzy rage, wasn't it? Yeah. Frenzy rage. You did a bonus yeah, action. Yeah 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 yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, so that is true. Good note. I didn't realize that. Mm. Okay, so no, you miss. Uh, and your axe is next to it in right the then. stairs. Well, that's my turn. Uh, Rock tour. Alright, let's uh, hope for a great axe slice. Oh my god! Natural 20. Nice. Not that needed very needed very much oh this this changes things uh, uh yeah he did not roll, roll one or two <laughs> no um but that is 21 damage and if you can roll a d20 for me hang on oh shit yeah oh. hang on shit. not just We're that on the crit table <laughs> you just got to think of it now that you can roll oh, one of oh, the oh my god yeah so you roll another d12 yeah so what that's 21 Oh, that that one. One. Wait. Exit 22. Exit 22 Wait. and roll just a straight d20 for me. I don't know if that yeah. applies Sorry. with. I don't know if you can apply that to great weapon, weapon fighting. Yes, you can. Because it's, it's a damage die. Weapon. Yeah, it's a damage die you're rolling, so you can re roll that too. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, wow. Well, Wow, roll that watch him roll a one. Watch him roll a one. No, no. <laughs> 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 have decided you're wrong. Right. <laughs> 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 right. So now, now we're straight slashing yep. right D20. Yeah, yeah, roll the D20. Six. So, six organ damage. Whenever you attempt an action in combat, you must make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. On a failed save, you lose your action and can't use reaction until the start of your next turn. That's huge. You lucky That's bastard. Huge. That's um, actually huge. So, I'm also going to have to do my... that. Ooh, okay, yep. Nice. I forget that's a thing that we have. Oh wow, thanks! <laughs> I'm not going to do... That's your fight level, just... so you're regaining six. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't worry. You just swung this fight. <laughs> this changes things. All He's right. Like, oh, uh, and hey, another one hey, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. To oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! The fuckiness is betrayed because you missed. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> I was so after happy. your first <laughs> strike, where you gash it up into his rib cage, and if this thing could look like it was in terror, it would. <laughs> you rip the axe back out as organs spill onto the floor and you swing again and it ducks under your axe. Your head's coming off! That'll okay. It's then the bonus's turn. Which again is just going to slop its way. So this thing, if it looks like it was in terror, once, it was once again, in terror. as it starts moving, I like to catch a bit of vomit in my throat. <laughs> There, and it just <laughs> makes it to the first one and crafty is gonna make a slam attack against you does an 11 hit it does not and then it that's all it can do god this guy's being shit but no that's it it has a cool thing it can do but it's not being able to do it <laughs> nope <laughs> i want to use a cool thing yeah. <laughs> it's all right because at because that's the top of a round. I will say everyone continues to hear that banging at the door. That's downstairs. Grammy. All right. Oh, it's so, on I, bed. I, I turn and I'm like, cover your ears, friend. And I put, just put safety, shoot it in the face. <laughs> Go for it. Guessing that's your best. Oh, nice. oh that's definitely it. Five, two. So I'm, roll, I, I'm rolling a d10 and I literally haven't rolled above like a 2. Oh, but yes, 7 piercing oh, damage. 7, nice. I've fired 2 shots this round, I've 2 shots so far. Keep so, is that your turn? That is indeed my turn, yep. Okay, so... Seeing the fact it just got absolutely savaged. What's it gonna do? I know what it's gonna do. Yeah. Yes, that is what it's gonna do. It is going oh, to use all of its, its hit points back. Ravenous children. What what I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> so I need to roll 1d4. Ravenous children. 2 plus 2. You also, you know, it's an action, right? So that is a con, that yep. is a con save. So DC 15 con save. Come on. To which it has a plus zero. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. Does it matter? That is a 19. Does it matter if you roll well? Okay. No, don't worry because it has to do that every time. And four sturges appear in space around it. Or what? Oh, so it screams out and out of kind of porous flaps on its body, these little kind of mosquito like creatures emanate and crawl its way out. And four of them now take up the space this around is, it. This is like the most grotesque and yet awesome combat ever. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm actually <laughs> loving this. Prayed for his life. He's and it is apple. going to flee. So both of you can make Ooh. opportunity attacks against it. Kill it. Stab it. I can still use the weapon I've got. Yeah, yeah. We don't have advantage. Oh, for fuck's sake! God damn it! That, that, that one misses. <laughs> 20. 20, that definitely hits. Eight Eight damage. Come on. Hey, that puts it down to. Uh, yeah. Does it die? Does it die? Put, puts it down it to. Put, put, puts it down to what? I Sorry, didn't quite catch that. So. <laughs> it, it's got a spike speed of 40, so I should probably get to there. Bolt out that way. Cool. So. It whips out of this window. Down a little bit there. You managed to slash it, in, and it is. It looks like it's it's physically struggling to fly. This thing is not happy right now. <laughs> it's got um, axe. <laughs> but then, at the end of its turn, the Sturges are going to go. So oh, it'll be two on man. you, and two yeah. on you. Oh, for fuck's sake. And it will use its blood drain attack. So these will be against uh, Ronan. Ooh. So 20. Is yeah, that that hits. Four damage. It's a whole thing. That's four. Another one. 24. Yeah, that is. So nine damage total. Nine. Okay. And then against you, Nathan, does a 17 hit? Oh, fuck's sake! I'd say that is a yes. <laughs> probably a yes. <laughs> uh, four damage. Last one. Oh, oh no! Oh. So that's then seven piercing. Are you still alive? Uh, no. depends if I can do this. You can yes. do that, yeah. So you're oh. on one. <laughs> and, but it does a piercing crit, so we're going to roll that d20. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Oh no. Six on oh, a six piercing. Back, wasn't it? Organ damage. <laughs> organ damage. <laughs> oh no. Same thing. <laughs> so, whenever you attempt an action in combat, you must make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. <laughs> wow. A long rest will cure it. Wasn't there something else about getting. When it drops yes. hit zero hit points but isn't killed outright? So, is that another roll on the table for that? Oh no. Dude, I'm I'm making it hard, not impossible. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'd still be the second hit, and I'm just trying to survive it, so I wouldn't pass it. Yeah, that no. Way. So that's that. So you're on one hit point. You, um, I'll, I'll try and keep track of that. But every time you make an attack, you have to do a DC con, no. uh, a DC 15 con save. It's any Sorry. action, right? So the dash yeah. action things action? would count as yep. well. Yep. Okay. Thankfully, death saving throws aren't an action. Nathan has organ damage. <laughs> Making that note. Uh, Gotta love I a bit have... of organ damage in the morning. <laughs> uh, uh, with that, uh, 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 Ruben, it's you. Well done. You've got mm. this. <laughs> Do we still hear the banging downstairs at the door? Mm. I'm so tempted right now. <laughs> but the problem These is... things around you are not big. They're small. Like hand-sized? Or like finger-sized? Or... Like... They're kind really of like the full, with the full length of them um, from like their stinger end to their back end, like the length of your arm. Oh. You get the sense that a good swing of a sword could probably take them out. Oh, yeah. well. I guess I swing at the one that's above the bed. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this does anything. Oh. Yeah, yeah that right. definitely hits and definitely kills it. Yeah. Nice. Someone is dead. Um, I scuffle around to get closer to the rocker, and that's my turn. I'm still next to it, so it is. 
So we're doing Alright, yeah. so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to attempt bonus action to retrieve my great axe. Yep. So that was a, a strength check. Six is not gonna do it. <clears throat> so Are you I raging? no. Okay. If you did rage, you would have that would be a straight roll. But yeah, but it's bonus act to rage, bonus act to pull it back. Oh yeah. It? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> instead whip out my light hammer and attempt to it. smack the boneless with it. You can do. Uh, 23. 23 definitely hits. You're not raging, so I won't add the two. No, yeah, yeah. Ignore, the, ignore the rage. So yeah, four bludgeoning cool. damage. Or a damage. And as you hit it, you hear like a squelchy pop and its eye just oozes That's black horrible. sludge. This is horrifying. Nice. Uh, that's going to be my turn. Okay, and so after getting its eye burst, it is going to look back at you and attempt a slam. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's, that's it. That's, 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 that's <laughs> not going to hit me. <laughs> nope. And that's all it can do, so it lunges out, you just slaps against. Do you know, like when you hit like a wet paper towel against a yeah, wall? Yeah. It sounds oh, like that. It's <laughs> 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 Wet paper towel against the wall. <laughs> well, um, Pete, uh, I'm gonna go. No, hold on. Hasn't um, no, nope, I haven't gone yet. Hi. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, oh sorry. Yeah. No, no, he's back at off. Shit, sorry. About to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's oh, on yeah. one oh, hit right, point. On you. Question. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. One hit point. Question: How do you use your potions of healing for your stuff? Action. If you want to take it and take full hit points, you can use an action to drink it and you'll just get max, or you can use a bonus action to drink it and roll for it. I'm going to drink carefully! <laughs> I don't want that so, so you get 2d4 plus 2? So that's so you 10? Get 10. Yeah, you'll get 10 hit points back. I'm a big fan of that rule. I think that, that type of rule I like that rule. Quite yeah, cool. it's quite nice. Mm. I really liked it. It means that you don't waste a turn being like, haha, I gained two hit points. Well, four yeah. minimum, but yeah. Look, so after drink here, we'll just kind of look at them and just like, I'll deal with you two in two seconds. <laughs> and I'll be in for them because I can't do anything else as a bonus. Now it's my turn. Now it's your turn, yeah. Sorry, Nathan. That's the exactly. turn order is, turn order is longer, oh, like. You. Die! And I shoot it again. <laughs> wow! Right. Shoot that to my bullets! 24. Oh. Definitely hits. <laughs> this man's shooting it. Oh, shoot finally! It. More, more, 11. 11. How do you want to do it? Ah, just, I'm just like... <laughs> just lean back, and where the eye kind of like oozed out, I aim directly for the opening that it's created, and just shoot directly in there. Nice. It... Head literally explodes oh and then i'm gonna sprint here one two three four five six. sprint here yep oh. can i do that i will allow that yes cool yeah i'll do that strength check <laughs> do, do i need to make a strength check because i will uh, pick up that axe uh, for yeah it. Throw it yeah, check because you uh, not for the catch. picking up, but for the throw. Yeah, I'm only a little guy. Um, yeah. Let's have a catch. I Twenty. Catch. Oh. Kind of just, just unnatural strength. Pick it up. Yeah. And just like lob it and wedge it like, in the wall. Thor's hammer. Him as I run. Yeah. No, like Thor's hammer, it flies into his hand. And just dunk. God, I am now complete. I nod at him as I feel like, happy yeah, again. Thor kind of raised. <laughs> All right, and that, okay. is, that is my turn. And it, the Strigoi is going to continue to flee. 25 movement because I'm in it, so I'm moving now. It is gone. It's basically gone. Out of here. It's flown. <laughs> it got attacked by a half or quartz, and I was like, nope! <laughs> I'm it, out of here! <laughs> and it bugged out, and it will then. I am aware that I. The, with Nathan's organ failure, he technically should have rolled for that drinking of a potion, but again, I it's drinking a potion, it's not very strenuous, so I'll leave him off for that. 
but he will make you a DC... messing up so bad that you like miss your mouth on the potion because you're in so much pain. Because <laughs> <laughs> he spills it, he just licks it off. Yeah, spills it all over the floor. Uh, Roll to lick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it will make a con save to try. Yep, it makes it. So it dashes out and it is gone. Out of here. <laughs> it took one attack from a half and it was like, nope. Yeah, I know. Got to fuck. Um, but the three little mosquito fuckers that it left behind are going to take their attacks. So one at you, Ronan. The twenty three. No attacks. Yep, that's it. That hits. Just, just reading yeah, what they, they say. It, it just says they don't need to make another attack, right? Attack starts one attack, so it doesn't attack instead at the start of each it its just turn. Does oh the yeah, shit. Oh. I noticed because yeah. that's a really cool mechanic. Yes. So what? yeah. Once once they've hit, they've just got you. They like they almost like grapple yeah. onto you and then they just drain you at the start of each turn. Start mm -hmm. turn. Yeah. So start of turn the target loses one D four plus three. Okay, so no, yeah, you've already been hit, haven't you? You both yep. have. I killed one. Yep, you killed one. Uh, was it the one that hit you, or did they both hit you? One was a 20, oh no, they both hit you anyway. Okay, so it's on you, and it's just going to do the damage. So, I'll just fucking roll it, because I've got dice. Uh, that's a 1, that's a bit shitty. So, 1 plus... Yeah, where was I? 1 plus 3, so 4 damage. And then the one's on Nathan. That's a... Th Three. Six. Plus three, so six damage. Ah. So and another rolling. one, so four. Wait, so it was a what? So wait, are you down to one hit point again? <laughs> oh my god, he you is. Were, you were on one, gave <laughs> ten, and then took ten. <laughs> I was so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> like, if he'd literally rolled anything but minimum on that second one, you would have died. Yep. <laughs> Good thing is they can't crit again because they're attached, so. No. Yeah. I can't fucking relentless endurance until the long rest. <laughs> oh my god. Rooktor's just sagging. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the bonus is dead. Uh, Theo. Oh no. No. Where am I? Because he's now gone. Yeah. So it was him. So yes, it's now Ronan's turn. Well. I tried to kill the last one that's on me. Go Let's for see it. if I kill it. No. Oh. With a ten, no. You <gasps> you try and swing it in, and it's just latched onto your shoulder, just slurping away. Hmm. So where are they? Oh, I'll ask on my turn. I'll ask on my turn. No, so now it's crafty. Yeah. Take it way, way downtown to the roof <laughs> to help my friends out of With a clock, you're all gonna get shot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think you can get there into the room, can't you? So as you walk in, you just see these buzzing, like, overgrown mosquitoes just latched onto the two of them, just buzzing and biting. All right, so after using dash action to run to the room, I, I just called out to you and said, Bloody hell, what the frick are those? Oh, now you show up. Yeah, I've been dealing with a big, weird big testicle-looking thing. Just don't go out and go at me. Oh. No, don't worry, it's all good. You don't look too good. No, I'm not. Uh, that's going to be well, my turn. <laughs> Nathan, it is now your turn. Uh, where are they attached to me? One on the front, one on the back. Do you have any uh, way of attacking multiple times this turn? Question. Because <laughs> I know I'm holding a green axe. Can I just run backwards into the wall, into the wall with one of them? Because one's yes. on my back. I will 100% allow that. Yeah, I will 100% allow that. Just, uh, just like run like full speed attack. into the wall. Just, uh, I would say, roll a d10. 
20 add your strength modifier. Do you want me to just roll my Damn, strength? okay. Do you want me to just roll strength? Basically think of it like a strength check. I'll just roll my strength check then, because that'd be easier. Oh, wow. Oh, no! <laughs> Even though I'm running, oh, I you should have just wall. rolled the twenty. No. <laughs> no, no, it worked so well because he's got organ failure. So you oh, think no. I'm gonna charge at this into the wall, and you take one step and just go ah, and keel over a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I keel over once in front of me and I've landed on top of it, it's bad. It's a bad. <laughs> that's a that's a stretch, Nathan. No, if it's, he said once on my back, once on front. Yeah, but you're like, you keel over, like, bracing your, like, holding your stomach. You're not, you didn't fall flat on your face. You, you're keeling <laughs> I, over in pain. True. <laughs> That's prone. Yeah, hey, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Just looks a bit like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> um, can you do anything else? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to rinse and repeat, but I'm on the upward health. Uh... Yeah. I'll be it. Okay. Uh, Theo, we are back to you. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, God. If only you'd managed to kill one of them, I could have done something, but I can't... <laughs> How far away are they? Can I, can I get within... I can't even get an angle on them. I would say if you got to there, you could shoot the one off of Ronan. Yeah, I was hoping I would because... be able to action surge and shoot both of them. But, like, sadly... You'd be able, not to, you'd be able to hit one. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll move here and I'll, I'll shoot the one on Ronan. Yep. I can't Hold do it. Still, me partner. Out. <laughs> Don't move. Wait, he's aiming at me again. <laughs> Hold still. <laughs> 14. Oh, just it. That is their armor class. Oh my god. Ten, it is dead. You like just burst bullet, it. Like, whing, it skims your... <laughs> you got a little red patch on your shoulder. Do, skin is do you know that scene from uh, the King Kong film? Where they're in like the pit? Yeah, oh. I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's bugs everywhere. I'm imagining it like that. Oh, that bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that one's dead. Yep, and that is that is my turn. Uh, we are up to, and it's it's their turn. Oh no, they're so, talking again. Well, they're gonna put you down. Yeah, they uh, didn't they didn't even have to roll, so you go down. Yeah, I know. and you go down. They're still on you. I would say as you go down, because you're keeling over, you will fall forward, and to stop itself getting crushed, the one this one here on your front detaches. Because it wouldn't just sit there if you're going to fall headfirst on top of it. It would get out of the way. So that one is now flying in front of you. Oh, it is no longer on you. So you are now rolling death saves. Let's go. Uh, and that's them, so it is Ronan's turn. I gotta get the one that is next to me. <laughs> I was thinking about going there. Hmm, actually, he's already down. I, never mind, actually. I can. I'm going to walk here and yep. target the one that's on him. Yep. I mean, you saved me from. Uh, so, Pete. I think I've misunderstood, misunderstood something about the right of the flame. Do I also take damage when I activate it, or no? Or is it? Yes. If it's you, your you blood maledict, you do. You activate it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So I didn't misunderstand. Is, blood, blood maledict is something else. I thought I, I took damage when I activated the blood curse. Yeah, crimson yes. right. Or yeah, blood yeah, maledict. Because blood what curses are like. Blood curse of binding. Okay. Blood curse okay. of. No. Okay. Yeah. No. The blood curse is when you initiate. You you have two options. You can activate it at its base form, and then you don't, or you can take damage and use its amplified form. And then so... crimson right, which is one where you add the elemental damage to your weapon. You take damage when you activate it, and only when you activate it. Hmm. 
So are you talking about Crimson Rite or Blood Maledict at the moment? Crimson Rite. Yeah, yeah. So when you activate it to add the fire damage to your, to your weapon, you take damage. Okay. But only on the turn you activate it. Well, I mean, they don't have enough hit points anyway, so I'm just going to take a swing at it. They have two hit points. I'll put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> so hit it and it dies. Yes. If I rolled well on my strength check, there would have been like a squished bug on the wall. <laughs> oh yeah, it would have instantly just been crushed. <laughs> oh my god! What's with the dens? It? it is... Actually, well, I'm um, about... If it's on his back and he's prone, it's basically prone with him. So roll, yeah, roll with advantage. It's not moving, it's sucking blood out of his back on the floor. Rumpel trying very hard not to kill the party. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Logically, you still uh, miss! Uh, <laughs> you stab well... Nathan. <laughs> this makes me want to transform. <laughs> Maybe if you had, with your extra attacks, you would have been alright. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. But I guess uh, that's my exactly. turn. Alright. Uh, let me see what distance am I here. Yes. Right. I am going to run up to this thing, and I'm going to swing at it with a great axe. Twelve. This. Ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go. Ten, now we need a thirteen. Come on, guys. <laughs> I believe in you. you. Made it this far. <laughs> um. Uh, then I am. <laughs> yeah, definitely done. <laughs> Come on, guys. We I'm just can't help on. you, Doctor. So like I say, my roles have been horrendous tonight. Oh, same tonight. here. Same, same uh, here. Is that my go now? It is your go now. No. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Has, Nathan, has... Nathan, Nathan, oh, no, Nathan, I, I hadn't scrolled down, my bad. Yep. Uh, real quick, before, before Nathan does his death save. Just, just curious. Are we going to have it so that we know what his death saves are, or is it GM only? Uh, we can know, but they do carry. So up until you take a long rest, if say he rolls a fail, then gets up. If you were to go down again, he will You'll start with that basically. one fail. All right. Oh, that's okay. rough. Okay. This is why I have the Wait, thing that I took. He, oh, he, when he went down, did you say you're not doing the roll on the crit injury tab for going down? I just remembered something as well. Nathan can't get critted. That is true. It's It's been and gone now. We will accept it, but I will take away his organ damage. Because <laughs> he can't get crit. His organs yeah. miraculously healed themselves. Adamant, you're still, you're still down, but you don't have organ pain. Fair, adamantine <laughs> armor with this injury tab suddenly became insane. Yep. <laughs> like out of nowhere, it was like it's mediocre because, but it suddenly went to holy <laughs> shit, this prevents some massive injuries. Yep. I would feel bad, but Nathan, you forgot to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, valid. Okay, so Nathan, roll the essay for me. Oh, oh my god! Stabilize! Stabilize! And he's one back. HP! Wow! Yeah, he's one HP! Back. One HP! <laughs> he's back! back. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> what the hell? That's the first time I've seen a death save, natural 20. Do I still get a turn or something? Because it's like start of turn. Um, I think you just did death save start? Me? Yeah, but did death save start at the start or the end of the turn? I think they're at the start, aren't they? Start of turn. Uh, yeah, um, I thought, I'm sure you do them at the start. <sighs> I'm sure. I'm, yeah, I'm sure you still get a turn. I think it might be. Da -da 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 -da. Have a look quickly. <laughs> yeah. Because I believe it. You do get a turn if it's. Yeah, turn. same. I'm pretty sure you do. Where's my index? So I'm straight up now after that. You're still prone, but you're on one hit point. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. But yeah, I imagine you get one at the start of your turn. Huh? Yeah. So I yeah. still get a whole turn as well. Uh, yes. I mean, you're still prone. Yeah. I can't of find course, it. I'm pretty sure it is. Gonna I'm, get up. I'm gonna give you. Yeah. So you have your turn. This thing is still latched onto your back, but you are alive. 
Rooktool gets up, <laughs> steals mm -hmm. the steel, he's like, he's like I feel yeah, like when you start your turn back. with zero hit points, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna... I have a great axe, so there's no point in trying to hit it with any of my weapons because I'm more worried about hitting myself. <laughs> I will say That's if you like, happen. if you roll, if you roll and manage to hit it, it, I'm, I'm not going to say that you carried through on the swing and hit yourself. Okay. <laughs> yes. Semantically, it's on your back. In game, you can hit it if you want to. <laughs> Oops! Killed yourself. I'm making a decision of whether Rooktor would just fall on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Go. It. Hit it. Just hit it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't. I'm just not. grab it I and squish it. Rook toe would just fall. <laughs> so in my eye, Rook toe's uh, falling. Uh, then, yeah. If that's what you want to do. DM. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I. Okay, so you're just falling on your back. Yeah, I'm just going to fall. It would okay. be like he just gives up and just falls on his back to sleep. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's gravity take him. It's got, a plus, it's, got, it's got a plus three to dex, but it rolled a six. Oh, yeah. So nine. So, yep, it doesn't get out of the way. You l land on your back and it splats. <laughs> you hear a squidge behind you. Oh. And now your back is soaked in your own blood and the pus of this creature. Mm. Oh, my back. God's sake. And That's all of them, right? Yeah, back to you. No, there's one more. No, there's one more. I thought I killed that one. No, no, no you, you can't. Kill one. Like, oh. He's just there like, kill the last one, will ya? That's the one that flew off of Rokhtar yeah. when he was falling oh. on his oh, stomach. Oh, okay, yeah. Rokhtar wants to sleep. That'll be my turn. <laughs> That's it. So now it's my turn. Yes. <laughs> He's given up. Yeah, so he I'm just going to move forward and I'm just going to shoot it. Yep. You hit it. And it's dead. It's the highest damage I've rolled this game. <laughs> you obliterated it. <laughs> Obliteration. Oh, God. <laughs> so. <laughs> there is it? still a banging at the door. Yep. Can I look out a window yeah. and see what. You oh can. yeah, there's a window. I think this yep. is a window. I drink, uh, and that's the door, door, so... Yep. Can I take the full... Uh, as yeah, a, yeah, yeah. A full action to drink, like, the whole house. The, um, uh, turn, turn order's over now. The fight is over. Yeah, okay. Well, still a, no, I drink. hand one of my healing potions to Rokhtar. I'm just drinking them carefully so that I get the full yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. out the window? So Nathan, I gave you one oh, healing you potion. Make a perception check. So in other words, I gain ten health points, isn't it? Eight. Yes. I cannot eight. Say. So it's ten each. I, one, back to twenty-one. I will say, with an eight, what would you see? Ah, eight. So you're looking out this window here, yeah. Oh, thank you. So down here, just like because the you the bit of the roof is obscuring your vision a bit, but you see two feet. There's two feet. Like, all right, I'm gonna start reloading my gun, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go towards the stairs. Okay. Rook tour gets up. Nathan, Rook did you did you add yeah. one healing potion yeah. to your? Uh, I know Rook tour just went and drank it as well. <laughs> he had Rook both. Rook tour went and drank. <laughs> Rook tour drank both. Chug, 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 chug. chug. I'm um, guessing he took his time to drink uh, them. And I'm also gonna to make my way uh, with Teddy. Towards the stairs. I'm yeah. also going towards the stairs. Uh, <laughs> now it's, uh, I'm as brave as the next guy, but if someone else wants to take the lead, I'm okay with that. I have the weapon of warning. Just saying. <laughs> I have the weapon of warning. <laughs> it's just three the fighters and then the I have the glowing the sword. It's the Thanks, three, friends. It's the three close fighters and, and then we'll the sniper. All go Hello? Down and I'll, I'll be very much hanging at the back with my pistol. It's, it's the three close reloaded. fighters and the sniper. So I don't have a downstairs map, but if I were, that's cool. Um, you would get down, and so from the top of the stairs, so uh, the stairs kind of comes round in a loop. So it goes down here and then back down like that. Yeah. Okay. And okay. from this point in the stairs, you can see the door 
straight line to the door. It's like hallway, and then you can just come off to the stairs. Okay. The door is rattling. It's like, dunk, dunk. We want to dunk. lock the door. And can you all make a perception check for me? Oh, is it yeah. like a wooden Do I have or advantage? Like on it? It's just a solid wooden door. Do I have advantage or 22. no? 22. Uh, no. 22. Theo definitely sees this. Anybody else? <laughs> My I don't see anything. My keen eyes. Yeah, oh, shit. I assume he's going to point this out. None of you, only Theodore sees this. So as it's thudding, you look down and underneath the crack at the door is two hands oh. creeping through and squeezing its way through underneath this door is a face. Another oh. one of these boneless skin masses ah. is trying to squeeze its way under the okay. door. At this moment, I do vomit. I vomit over the side of the stairs. <laughs> Have I oh my god, what is that? Oh, I've never seen that thing. That's fucking disgusting. Oh, I'm going to point what it out to everybody. Thing? What is that thing? That's we the... walked past a corpse of it a minute ago. That's the thing no, I don't you, like a yeah. test car I told you about. Oh! <laughs> that's what you were fighting. Cool. <laughs> At least you weren't we... fighting a big bird person. So can, can we stab it as it's coming through the door? Yeah, who wants to stab one? You can't even stab it in its yeah. face. I mean, it, it's kind of hands are through, and its face is starting to like, like sludge its way through. You can freak. get better for it. Yeah. Like, you've made a bad decision. Yeah, <laughs> I, pull, I pull a rape. Yeah, I pull a rapier out of my of a sheath. Pull it out It's stabbing yeah. time. <laughs> between you, between you all, uh, I'm not gonna make you roll for any of this. It, <laughs> slowly succumbs to its final death, <laughs> squidged underneath the door. <laughs> okay. How does the back door look like? Anything there? Or is you would still have to around open? the check. Okay. It's wide, unless you shut it. I mean... I um... Oh, Skanker, I came in, but I imagine I imagine I didn't shut it, but I definitely pushed it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, I it's, it's not locked either way. But... Yeah. I go to check the back door. Okay. It has been blown open by the wind, but there's nothing in there and there's nothing immediately outside the door either. Can we Should see I... if the horse is still there from our position? I uh I would say you would be able to see your cart and the horse has bolted. Oh, okay. It would appear that the smashing of the window and that thing leaving, oh, yeah. the horse heard it and ran. Fair enough. Good lad. I'm going to run up uh, to this uh, boneless thing and take a swing at it. Yeah. Wait, it's, all, it's all loaded. <laughs> I think it's we all cool. did. I think we, we sort of out of combat. Just the li went the little out, bit. basically. Oh. Oh no, he's going to break I the mean, door open. It's it's already dead, but I will say with a nat one, you go to swing and you get a bit closer than you thought and you hit the door. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Full damage to the door. And the rolls just keep getting better. <laughs> what you I will that? say though, Crafty, um, as you pull your axe out, you do see outside of that door, a bit further down the way, the other two zombies that Ronan had told you about clearly noticed that loud bang and are not oh. making their way over to you, but looking over. Uh oh. So, Something I got fake. some good news and I got some bad news. Oh no, he's shouting. You're more stupid than the half orc. The good I mean, news they're in your is room. If this... you want to do that, they would be shouting. <laughs> this boneless thing is dead. The uh, the bad news is a couple of things that are also dead are on their way over. Great. Yeah, I mean, they are. God. Yeah, they're, Great. they'll be making their way over. I drink one of the healing potions in full. <laughs> oh, God. He just oh. shouted. Everyone was... Sorry. I, I would say you. they arrive up at the door. I mean, they're zombies, they're not smart, and they can't work out how to open this thing, so they're just going to join where their boneless buddy was. <laughs> banging away at the door. I... I I'm not, I, I'm just like, I say we let him in. I go to the back door and shut it. 
okay. just in case. I yep. prepare we... myself by the door. Can we can we let them in one at a time? I can try to do that. I yeah, you can try to do that. put my hand on the doorknob and mm -hmm. I prepare myself so that I would open it so that I will be behind the door as it opens. All right. Okay. I'm gonna... Real cool thing is to get... Looking at this door, you get the impression one of the reasons they're struggling so much is this door swings out, not in. Damn. <laughs> oh, so we'd have to push it. Uh -huh. them, wouldn't we? Yeah. All right. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna kick the door open and leap back. Okay. As he does. Have you ever tried to Have you ever tried to push a door with like a towel stuck underneath it? Yeah, it gets quite that. tough. You've got a squished up mass of flesh again, that has I'm wedged not... itself under that door. Roll a strength check for it to try and shove it. Did you forget that we just killed something that was trying to get under the door? <laughs> it's a... Oh. 20. Oh. No, it's a oh, 6. No. Disadvantage. Yeah, just, just That's a natural 20. That becomes a no. 6. So you start shoving and like the door opens a little bit and then you hear like a... And the door is like smearing, but you can't quite. Well, it's jammed. How about we go out the other door and then go around the back, go around the front? There are some other things out there. The fucking other worm things that we fought two hours ago. What do you want to do then? Just stay in the house? <sighs> they keep banging at the door. I open the back door and look outside. Mm hmm. Do I see anything in the vicinity? Uh, make a perception check. I would say you have advantage because if you're listening out things too. Oh, well then I have to roll one more. It didn't that get there. Only worse. worse. <laughs> you are so confident. It is so clear out here. There is <laughs> I guess I won't get even sure there's you're not even sure there's something at the door. These guys are worried about nothing. <laughs> I just won't go outside, I guess. Okay. Nothing to be worried about. I'll go with him. He's just holding his grip. Okay. His shoulder. As you guys go outside, the crawlers oh. appear to have gone. You get oh. the sense that maybe that thing, when it bolted, may have scared them off too. Okay. Outside. Yeah, we'll follow. Okay. Shall we, loop, shall we loop around to the zombies? I, I think so. I guess. Uh, yeah. Then. All right. As we loop around, wait. Actually, no. I'm gonna prepare a fishing. So. I'm going the other way. Uh, I'm just gonna move you onto to the map. Oh yeah. Go. Uh, it's just the action of flanking of two sides, two different teams. Yep. <laughs> I love how we're Clear going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot to bring you with me. Do apologize. It's okay. Um, oh my god! And the zombies, yeah, are banging away at this door. Okay. Go the wrong way, Teddy. Doctor, be careful! <laughs> we don't know what's further down. You're going this way. Ted, you're going this way. Peter, you're going this way. Pete, you were going. There yep. you go. <laughs> okay, okay, can you all make stealth checks for me? Oh, yeah. thanks. Thank <laughs> you. Just I mean, in the middle of this, is, this is literally the definition oh my of God. stealth. Oh on something. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> 19. That's oh, 20. Bad. What is their passive perception? Guess what? Uh, Not good. <laughs> yeah, two people who have no disadvantage in stealth. Yep. stealth. <laughs> they did not see you. They are just slapping away at that door. Can I start by just making a piercing shot so it shoots through both of them? It's mm -hmm. one of my gunslinger abilities. We thought it. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Skank was in the way. As a second. This will be a, effectively a surprise round. You will all get effectively one action before initiative gets rolled. Cool. 
So yeah, I'm I'm gonna go start with a piercing shot. Mm -hmm. Go, go ahead. Sweet, sweet double headshot. So I expect. So oh, as we're going, I'm just gonna go round. So it'll go Pete, Crafty, Nathan, and Ciro. Would be yeah, nice. so... just a surprise round. Just, uh... Yes. Okay. So I have to roll initial attack. Nice. Definitely hits. And then. Okay, yeah, so they take damage. And piercing. Nice. And, piercing. and then the, the creature suffers normal damage, and you make an attack roll with disadvantage against every creature in a line directly behind the target. Ah, cool. So, cool. so I make another attack roll. Yeah. Oh, with disadvantage, so I roll again. Now, oh. after one. Still hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice you can roll a nat one and still hit. Right? No. <laughs> wow. Uh, thankfully, that can't misfire. That would have been real bad. Uh, so I roll for damage. Nine piercing. So uh, ten to the first, nine to the second. A natural nice. one even hits. Wow. I have plus nine to hit with my gun. Yep. Um, so crafty. I will go into a rage. Mm hmm. Uh, and I will go reckless. And charge up to the first one and take a swing with the great axe. Yep. Go for it. Sixteen. Definitely hits. Dealing nine. Um, range damage as well. Yep. So dealing eleven. <laughs> he is. You basically just cleave his arm off. He's still standing, but <laughs> not by a lot. Nice. Um. I was going to a frenzy. But nothing happens on this turn. Okay, cool. Uh, Nathan, I'll go up to this one, and I'll pretty much also using my great axe. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, yeah, ten. Ten hits, five, yeah. Five, nine. Hits, yeah. You swing at it. It. They're, they're both now very aware you're all there. Hi, <laughs> friends. I hope you like man and acting yeah. your body! <laughs> Bring that kid out of him. Yes, yeah, Saroni, it's your turn now, I believe. Unless there's anything else you can do, Nathan. No, I've got nothing. Yeah, yeah I was just checking if I can actually make it there, and it looks like Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. you can make it. Just that. barely. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I also take a swing at the bottom one. Go for it. And that does not hit. <laughs> that does not hit, no. So after getting slashed by an axe, you run in and try and stab it, and it's already on its way down from the axe wound, so strike wide. And. Everyone roll initiative now. I'll just clear. So, uh, okay, no, uh, it's, it, it looks uh, like we have a... good rolls. <laughs> uh, Rumpel, Rumpel, mm -hmm. I, I do this for you. I, I just chat. I'm, yeah, I thought I, as much, but if it's a natural one, it misses. No matter, uh, no matter is... my attack modifier, a natural one always misses. Oh. Uh -huh. So stick out of many hit points. So yeah, stick nine hit points back on on the second zombie. I mean, I will say it was surprised. They're two zombies. I'm kind of. I'm not. If it was the other fight, I might do. But there's just two zombies. I'm, I'm okay. cool leaving it. But we'll take that moving forward. Yeah, I I, I, want, I, I was like, I wanted to check and be honest about it because yeah. 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 Cheers. But yeah, I appreciate that. But yeah, put it this way, they ain't gonna last much longer. Fair <laughs> Especially enough. Especially since they wrong. I didn't think they'd survive this long anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, And so, Pete, it's back to you. Uh, I'm going to start by shooting the one closest to me. Mm -hmm. 28. So, that's yeah, it. Eight piercing. Eight. And it needs to roll for 15. It is back to one hit point. I'm dead fortune. Uh, and I'm going to action surge, and I'm going to shoot it again. Go for it. Thirteen. Thirteen still hits. Nine piercing. Nine. Yeah, eight. 
Uh, no, miss. Uh, no, sorry, not misses. It does die. It does not roll. So that one is dead. You shoot it, and the bullet just blows his head clean off. Nice. Uh, and that is my turn. Oh, Sarone. Oh. Well, time to get another nat one. Let's go. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I was going to say, if that wasn't that one, asking yes. you shall receive. Yeah, it's 11. That's cocked. And that's no! Uh, How do I do it? Uh, Rumpel, question. Oh, mm -hmm. I, would, I would assume that you do not consider... Basically, do you know how grip points work on Gunslinger? Mm, no. So I, I use up grip points to do the, like... The like piercing shot and stuff like that, and I get crit, yep. uh, grit points back on either a short rest, a long rest, or mm -hmm. a d20 on an attack roll, or on a 20 on an attack roll, or for a killing blow on a creature of significant threat. I would assume you don't think zombies are of significant threat. No, cool. I'm not in this situation. <laughs> cool, absolutely. That's just wanted to put that on. Yeah. Cool. Wait, did it die? Yeah, one of them. Yeah, it's definitely dead. Oh, no, I... so I just killed the other one. <laughs> I pierce it in the ribcage, and then... Yeah. And it just goes. It just goes down. Cool. So, that's the end of all immediate threats. The zombies lie dead before you. Um, what do you wish to do? The, the creature has left. You My... know not where. Can, gonna, I, gonna... can I have a look around our close surroundings to see I'm if gonna... there's anything else uh, around us? I'm gonna approach uh, Skank, and I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder and be like, You look real tired, friend. I, uh, that's yeah. that's just a trick of the light. I'm I'm perfectly fine. Uh, maybe I could do with a little rest, you know, just to, just to make the rest of you feel better. Oh, look, I don't need more than that. Can we see a door to this house? That house? Yeah. What do you want to know about that house? Can I see a door? You can see a door, yes. Yeah, on... <laughs> there are walls, there are windows. Can I, like, where is the door? I want to check the condition of that house. There is, there is, there is one right on... Oh, sorry. Right up here. There's one in the front. Just okay, I... I... I would try to open the door. Okay, um, I'll say as you do that, Nathan, you said something about your immediate area. See if there's anything like any more dangerous around the immediate area. Yes. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, you can, you can make a perception check and have a look around. Uh, yes, let's have a go. Hey! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, let's have a go! 31. <laughs> oh, I am looking it. at the ground. <laughs> I am looking for snails. <laughs> Death. Okay, so you. Uh, um, so. Sorry. Um, so Ronan is going into this house. Crafty and Pia, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Saron's character on this one. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll follow. I'll follow with. Luxor will stand at the door for now. Okay. So, do you go straight in, or...? I go straight or... in. I go straight okay. in. Okay. You go straight in. Um, you walk in, and this appears to be a kind of... Um, let me just find my notes, make sure I've got the right one. Yes. Um, so this is kind of a... sort of general store-esque? Almost like a farm shop type thing. Um you get the sense that this is where a lot of the supplies, a lot of their, their grain, their what they farmed, they would store here, they would maybe sell bits to passers who came through, although there weren't many, but occasionally people did. Um, so there's a little bit of a shop front, but you get this very much kind of storeroom, living quarters upstairs. Uh, someone clearly lived here, ran it. Um, you do look down, and you see where you pushed open the door, there appears to be some bloody smears that have come out of this building, and if you follow the tracks, look out behind you, they seem to... This house appears to have been 
where that bonus had come from. Oh. It appeared to have left this house, slithered its way to that door after hearing the commotion, and attempted to squeeze on underneath it. Interesting. So this house could be empty. Okay. Probably. I guess I'm going to search the first floor. Okay, Jesus. make an investigation check. What exactly are you looking for? Uh, or um, more, more of a question. Could you, you know, um, what? Where are you searching? Hmm. Kind of so the shop the... front. Are you coming to? So at the front, the... there's a typical shop front at the front. Um, then there's a door. You go through that door. There's stairs upstairs, and then at the back, there's like a living area, or a small fireplace, some places to sit, a table. So the living space is upstairs. No, there's a living space downstairs. Oh. Um, behind the shop front. So if you imagine you've got a shop front here where you just walked in, behind is a living area, and if you would walk through a door, the stairs would go up this way. So there'd be stairs right. then up to a top. I searched the living area to see if it's safe to rest in. Okay. You walk in. Um, yeah. There's nothing here. It's a simple living area. There's a cooking pot in, in a fireplace at the back of the back of the room. Um, some windows looking out. Some chairs, table, a bit of a more comfy sofa type thing, and yeah, no one there. Any blood? Any broken windows? Nope. Oh. Uh, any beds? If so, if how many? Go upstairs. Oh, upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Well then, I guess since I have the weapon of warning, I guess I'm going upstairs. <laughs> I'll, I'll follow behind you, slightly. Cool. Um, you do notice on the way up the stairs, that kind of blooded frail appears to have come from up here. That bonus definitely appears to have started its journey from up here. Oh god, what is this door up here? Um... So you get up there? Yeah, mm -hmm. you go up the stairs. Um, there you get up up there there is just one kind of big bedroom up there just one big room um big double bed and then another small staircase that goes up to seemingly an attic um, up there um but in there you can see that the blood trail leads to the bed there's one big double bed in there um the blood trail starts there so assuming assumingly this boneless is in the bed slithered its way all the way there um and looking around this room um you can find um there's a book on the bedside table that appears to be a diary um there's you open up um the drawers mm. there yeah yeah, say you've had a look around, open up the drawers, there's a few gold coins, nothing major, a few tools and things around. Um, that's all you can see in like the immediate vicinity. Hmm. Um, I guess I try to open the diary. Okay. So, in the diary, um, reading it is in common. Um, it is the diary of a woman called god we need to find names now una una was oh. her name um early passages appear to read of a simple farming life she was the husband to one of the farmers here um they ran the store um yeah first kind of few pages very typical standard stuff I go to the last pages. Okay. The last pages talk of worry about a man they found um, a couple of months back. Um, people have been going missing. Um, strange sounds heard at night. And this man who they bought to live with them in this house keeps disappearing. Um 
seemingly more and more people are going, the water has turned foul. The last passage reads that, you know, she's too terrified to leave. She lies awake at night, shaking, fearful that this man might come back. Any description on the man? What does um, it look like? You the flick name? a bit further into the middle. No name. He never gave it a name. Um, so they just called him Hank. Hank. They never provided a name. Uh, but it talks of a man that they found in the woods nearby. Um, from the woods to the uh, west, which you would know is the mountains up to the west. Um, not many people go up there. It was strange that this man appeared from there. He was very pale, very withered, didn't say anything, but looked lost and just physically drained. Um, in this book, um, you know, you can read that they they bought him, they took him, they tried to feed him, bring him back to health, find out where he'd come from, but he, he never spoke, never said a word. But the family here, the couple in this house felt pity, so took him in. Um, gave him the room in the attic. Um, once they put him in there, very, very rarely did he ever leave. Um, and it goes on to describe his behaviour as going more erratic, um, from being a very quiet person, suddenly noises, they start to hear noises up there, banging, crashing, crying, giggling, and then he'd disappear, be gone. Sometimes for days at a time, then he'd come back. Might stay for a while, be in the room, disappear again. Um, it talks about her worry, about what he might be doing, and that's when it then gets to bits about people starting to disappear, and seemingly she thinks that this person has something to do with it. Mm. Seeing, I mean, I, I guess I like read some of it to the others. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm interested in interested in searching that egg now. Okay. I guess I'm going to go. Wait, is it like a hatch again? Does someone need to lift me again? Um, no. There's actual stairs up up to it. Um, is a hatch, but a bit bigger. Actually, has a handle. It appears to be uh, more of an actual room up there rather than just a crawl space. I guess I try to go up. Okay. You go up. The door opens. You can go in. I go in. Okay. Um, there's. So you go up. You have a look around. It's very dark up there. One window letting in a bit of light, so you struggle to see a bit, but you see a very messy room, a singular bed, bedside table, um, a doused oil lantern, some clothes strewn across the floor, and um, then just scattered notes all around the wall. Like, the walls are covered in just bits of parchment with scribbles and writing. Um, you can make an investigation check to try and make sense of some of it. That I will. Oh! 23. Okay. So, you have a look. Most of what's on the walls appears to be drawings. Very crude, rough drawings of um, uh, manner they seem to start out as and then and then pictures of a man a sad man crying in the woods and then you carry on going it seems to get erratic and then you start I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this As you move around the walls, the images become more angry. The man appears to be furious. You can see there's images of a man, yeah, getting angrier, wanting something you don't know what. Um, and then it goes on, pictures of the woods. And in those woods, you see what? A depiction of 
a creature very much like the fault um, that came out of the attic of the other house. You see pictures of him bringing bodies to this thing. Um, and then the images stop. And I'd say with that investigation, you find notes on the floor, actually oh. written notes. A lot of it is illegible. A lot of it's just words, longing, missing, wanting, blood, home. Those kind of words stretched over and over, return, that kind of thing. Um, but then you find one where it appears he had a moment of clarity where he says, well, written, um, finally I have found her. She has come back to claim me. With my gifts, she will make me one of them. Take me to her well. There she will change me. Well then, it looks like he was involved in the bis people disappearing case, after all. I I'm now curious to find out what's on the main building attic, since, yeah, it looks like the creature lived there. Hmm. I will say with that investigation and what you just read, for the, in the well, there's yeah. a well in yeah. the middle of the room. Well, yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, hmm. <laughs> Where are me and uh, Teddy when this is all, when he's doing all this? We're, well, I take it we're down in the next level, yeah? Uh, where would you like to be? Yeah, there's still a storefront. Um, you can have yeah, a route through. You can there. explore that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Um, so both make investigation checks for me. Oh god. Nineteen. Oh. Five. Five. Nice. Um, skank with your five, you find shovels, pickaxes, scythes, rope. Um. Hooks. I find the cure to typical itself. <laughs> kind of typical farming I'll... equipment I'll... and things that maybe they were going to sell or just had in there for storage. I would I would take the hook and rope. How long is the rope? Uh, you kind of it's a good bunch. Um, you get the sense it's a good fifty foot's worth of rope. Cool. I'll take the hook and rope. Okay. Um. Theo, with that investigation check, you start looking through the counter, opening the cupboards, and you kind of scout around at the back, um, looking little nooks and crannies where they might hide the good stuff, and you find four more healing potions. Thank fuck. All right, yes, yeah, so I'll take those, and I'll top you at the bottom in a minute. <laughs> and two more potions. Okay. Um, I don't know what they are. Make an arcana check. Oh god. Three. Oh, a magical Three. water. You open it up, you give it a sniff. It smells like milk. Can I? I'll, I'll, have, kind of, I'll show them to the, the kind of, barbarian and see if he can recognize yeah. what they are. <laughs> Maybe he's seen them before. Uh, would I recognize them? <laughs> um, make a history check. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> oh, a natural oh, no. one. <laughs> oh, it's, nope. it's, it's just it's milk. Like... It's just... No, yeah, it's it's <laughs> milk. What are you on about? <laughs> and not only is it milk, it's it's not even good milk. It's unpasteurized milk. What are you doing? <laughs> I'ma just, i am going stick those in my in my pocket for now. I'll name them what just unidentified potions. Well then, I guess since they've been searching around in there, I've gone downstairs and yep. there's nothing else to search in this house, right? Mm, no, not really. Okay, then I leave the house and I walk up to the well. Where are you well, going? Cool. Then well. Are you going to the whirlpool? 
and I guess I look inside it. Do I see anything? Given how deep it is, it is just darkness. You can see nothing. Do I smell anything? Make a perception check. With advantage, because it's new smell. Seventeen. Much like the air in this place, it smells off. It smells foul. Um, you know from the notes, the water had gone bad. You get the sense that's due to decay. Something down that well. Probably dead. Well then. What do you find in the well? It smells real bad. There's probably something inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we still have one house to check. Are you... oh. And after that house, there's a forest we need to check out. No, I'd rather go to sleep for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we need to find the best house to sleep in. Maybe the third one is the best one. I would say by this point, it's probably getting to 10, 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's getting late. Night or in the morning? So far, night. this house is the best one to sleep in. <laughs> you set off in the morning. All this has happened. So it's oh. getting yeah, close to midnight now. Yeah, I, w I wasn't sure if we'd gone through the night. Should we explore the last house, or should we just sleep in this one? I think we explore the last house. We don't want any surprises. Yeah, I, okay. Since I have the weapon of warning, I, I just... Where is the door? Is there a door? Uh, there is a door. Um, you're by a window. The door would be around the front. Okay. So, yep. Yeah, um... You can go I in. Guess, yeah, or I just tried. slowly sneak, whatever. I'm slowly opening the door and walking inside. Okay. You walk in. This is very much a storeroom. There is just shelves of stuff. There's barrels of grain, barrels of salt with meat. Um, this looks to be their winter store. Oh. A one-story building? Yep. Does it okay. look um, untempered? Yeah, fairly. There's nothing... Um, I mean, just... there's nothing to suggest otherwise. Unlike the other buildings, there's nothing's crawled out of it, or there's no immediate signs of bloodshed. I'd say this place but is if... pretty safe. Let's uh, head back to the house and get some sleep. Okay. Can I, before I exit, can I smell anything inside here? Uh, make a perception check with advantage. Um, nothing other than kind of what's in there. Like I say, it's a storeroom. It just it smells of kind of musky wood. Um, you get the sense that with the storm coming through, a bit of damp has seeped in. Uh, maybe a few of the boughs of grain has gone off, but other than that, no. Well, well done. No worries. I guess I exit the building. And... I mean, just glancing at, mm -hmm. like, the corpses, did they seem yep. off in any way? Mm, like, no. What, well, what were they what, like, uh, killed by? Mate. Uh, are, are you actually going up and investigating them? Like yeah, the closest one. Over. Closest one. Uh, make an investigation check. I want to find out the reason why it died. And I guess twelve. They remind you of the corpse um, of God. I even I name. I think it was Thormir. Yes, Thormir at the start. Um, his insides have been ripped out, eaten. You get the oh, sense yeah. that whatever he died of, the carrion crawler finished it off. Very well done. 
I guess I go to look for a good place to sleep in this house. <laughs> oh, I guess everyone just goes in the house and be like, I'm finding a bed. I would probably uh, go around and make sure the doors are secure first before we go to sleep. Yeah, yeah we can barricade it with, like, furniture. Just in case. Mm-hmm. And I have the weapon okay. of warning, so if there's anything dangerous, yeah. I'm going to wake up. Oh, yeah. Nothing sneaked up on you. So you will have a... You will stop for a long rest, then? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is anyone staying up to keep watch, or you will just... I mean, I can sleep all day. <laughs> I have I, to wake up the, uh, Considering that we have the sword, I think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the risk and sleep. Okay. Uh, question for the DM: When we fought those two undead, I believe I went into a second frenzy. So, um, with long rest, how many levels of exhaustion does that actually eliminate? Is it just one? I believe all of them. Okay. Then. I I was under that impression, and for ease, that's what I'll go with now. Uh, if that's wrong, we'll worry about it later. But yeah, I'll say because I think yeah, we'll just say clears them all. Fair enough. Uh, it, it is just one, but you can do multiple if you choose to. Mm. DM rolls, you but yeah, it's it, 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 just one, but yeah. All right, I'll keep that in mind then for future ca for for actual campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. The, the so Zarka, you will take Berserker like, is really cool, but it can get risky if you frenzy too much. Aye. So you will take long rest. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So you're all. I assume you will stop on the second floor in where the big double bed is, or you know, you scatter about the house as you wish. I would say a few of you do kind of jostling night. it's not an easy night's sleep and every now and again you hear like, i've in a corner with my gun like resting on my lap yeah yeah so every now and then you hear scuttling you get the sense that the crawlers you saw when you first arrived although they may have left they may have come back um yeah you kind of hear the ripping of flesh every now and again but you wake up dawn's come you're all alive. What would you like to do? I remove the barricade on the front door. Peek out the window sill. <laughs> Peek out the window. Yep. And make a perception check. Uh, what? Uh, perception. Fourteen. Uh, oh. um, yeah. You don't see anything. A few of the corpses. You know, you you didn't. You didn't spend a lot of time looking at them, but they look a bit more chewed on. You get the sense that you definitely heard them back eating, but you can't see them at the moment. Uh, it seems to be clear. Hoptor grabs his axe from the floor because he had it quite close to him. Uh, I open the front door. Mm -hmm. And walk outside. Okay. You walk outside. And what, do I see anything? No one dead. No crawlers in your immediate vicinity. Um, so make a uh, perception check with advantage again. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, yeah, you can't hear them either. The mm -hmm. air, everything seems very still. You know, with your companions not moving inside and you just stood out here, you can't hear anything. Um, I guess I walk back up to the wagon and see if, that, if it's still there. <laughs> the Your wagon? Yeah. Uh, the wagon is still there. Um, you put the body on the back, didn't you? Yeah. Um, it has been just kind of dragged off a little bit. Oh. Um, so it's just on the back behind. Gnawed on a little bit more. Other than that. So the forest was to the east. Or the which way was forest? It? Yeah, the forest that was to the west. The, the forest 
Uh, yes. So the forest the where he was found okay. was to the west. But then they mention a well. Yes. When there's a well in the middle of this map. Yes, so there is. Okay. I, I presume that. Um... Oh, wait, it's daytime now. Yeah. It is daytime now. Can I see in the well? Uh, you can see a bit further. Um, you still can't see to the bottom. So, so Ronan, uh, Ronan had, had, would have told the rest of us, I assume, about this well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just when going to sleep. Yeah. Have good dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got a torch? We can throw it down there. See if we see anything. Look for... I could use right of the flame and throw something down. <laughs> you, you have to use it on a weapon you're equipped to and you have to damage yourself for it. But I mean, I have this what? extra short sword on me that I'm not using. However, look just use torch. This, this torch I have and I pull a torch out of my bag. Oh. Well, that will make just things. So I, yeah, I'll light the torch and I'll reach out and I'll, I'll and then I'll drop it down the well. Okay. So you watch it drops. Still dropping. Dunk. Kind of clatters at the bottom, and you can see a dim light down there. Oh, Bit down. too far. You can't make out detail, but there is ground down there. No. Oh. And. There's... After a few seconds, you hear a, a kind of slurping and a screech. And then oh. silence. Uh, All right, who's going down there first? I guess I have to. <laughs> well, well volunteered. I got a hook and some rope. Well volunteered. We can lower you down. Very well, then, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess I hug my weapon of warning. Hug it tight. Hug it tight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take position and I'm gonna pull out my musket and I'm gonna aim down the well and if I see movement, I'm gonna shoot at it. Okay. Once he's be once aware. He's low enough, if I see movement. Yeah. Yeah. This well isn't the widest. You know, um, Ron is gonna take up a considerable amount of space, so to shoot round him would be quite difficult. Okay. Um, how are you lowering him down? Are you tying the rope to anything, like hooking it on or holding onto it? What's the plan? Hmm. Uh, what I was going to do was uh, put my feet up against the well and lean back. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I would take the, the brunt of the weight and then I uh, kind of expect uh, Rock to, to then hold onto the other part. So I lower a bit you... while he t holds on to it, and then he hands me some more while then I continue to lower it. So we've got a bit of levy between us. And okay. the rope is like tied to a hook that's attached to something. Yeah. You... In case. They let it... Oh, are we <laughs> time attached to the hook? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we can uh... wrap it round the well once so that it hooks onto itself. So if in the event that me and Rockta end up letting go, it's still attached to the well. Okay. Yeah, so, do you begin? I oh, oh, guess oh, are I we begin a go? my descent. <laughs> okay, I will need um, Rockta and Skank to make strength checks. Um, yeah. Either you can both roll it separately, or one of you can roll with advantage. Um, what's your modifier? Yeah, same. Why don't we just roll together then? Yeah. 16. Oh, that's 17. Cool. Okay, nice, yeah. It's a steady descent. You're you're holding on, and you're getting lowered nice and gentle. Um, as you descend, you kind of drop into darkness. You can see the light of the torch down there getting closer and closer. You have gone about, say, about 15 feet down now. Uh, make another strength check. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. 18. Yep. Nice. So, yeah, continuing on, another 15 feet. At about the 25 foot mark, the walls of the well stop. And all of a sudden, you're in a cavern. It's huge. It... You can't see the walls. It's pitch black down there. The only light you have is the dim light coming from the top. And the dim light sat down there at the bottom. 
So make Any... another strength check. This be a last oh, one. God. 17 oh. and 12, yep. Yeah. Nope, fine. You get steady. You've dropped about 45 feet now. You're at the bottom with how the rope's tied off and with the hook at the end. Um, it's not going to get any lower, but you're about five feet off the deck, so you could drop down next to the torch and not take any damage. Can I hear anything before I jump off the rope? Uh, make a perception check with advantage. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, um, you're hanging onto the rope. You're kind of trying to look around, but you can't quite see. So you sit, you take a moment, you breathe, you listen. You know, you hear the dripping of water off the rock into, assumedly, a pool of water that's beneath you. And you listen really closely. You've heard this creature now a couple of times. You, you know what to listen for, and you can hear a kind of scuttling a little pit a patter of feet around and then an occasional beat of a wing and, and then you listen carefully again and somewhere else you hear a sucking and a whimper in a different oh. place to where you heard something move oh, oh god I'm, I, guess, I guess this is where I die. I drop down. I drop off the rope. <laughs> I feel I the. I guess um... this is where I die. <laughs> <laughs> what a good day to die. <laughs> I feel the rope uh, untense, so I know he's, yep. he's let go. Uh, can I then use this opportunity to start sliding down the rope? You can indeed. What you're going like, Metal Gear Solid style, yeah. sliding down. Okay, Bye. make an acrobatics check. Wait, I say wait. No, oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. He's not done it. I'm just saying, you I'm went... like holding the rope because it's still not really attached to the thing. It is, it's what, attached, what, it's to attached to the rope. It was tied, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's tied to the rope. Okay, okay, cool. So, yeah. Uh... 14. Okay. 14. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. You you cling on. You're You're small enough. That you kind of fit in this world quite nicely. For, for the first time in your life, you have a slight thought: being small ain't that bad. <laughs> and you glide down, <laughs> and you let go and land gracefully next to. Right, I, I look at Rock Tour and I'm like, hey, I "Guess we're doing this, man." And I, I jump up, holster my weapon, and I, I this, I light a torch, and then I slide it down, holding the torch. Uh, uh, sliding in a similar graceful matter or a bit more controlled? Uh, graceful matter, the same same way as as Skank did. Okay, make an acrobatics check. 20. 20, nice. oh, you glide down beautifully. You're holding with one hand, pinching it with your feet and holding the torch in the other as you slide down so you can try and scan as you go. Yeah. I salute Rockter as I go. <laughs> I you want your torchlight, I don't need it. <laughs> um so I Rob I think you last to go in. I forget that, but you know. Oh is he going to is he just going to jump in? He <laughs> <laughs> takes out both of us on the way down. Yep. Both of takes the force like there are cushions down there. Is it he grabs the hook and he slides down? <laughs> Make an acrobatics check. I don't know. Oh, no, oh, he's just going no. to go <laughs> So, never, you grab on. And, and you start sliding, and you're picking up speed. You did not grab this thing very tight, and as the well what? walls end, and the thing opens up, it, it kind of frightens you. You weren't expecting it. Stop and you let go. Stop, man. And you fall, what did I say, it was 25 feet. So you fall 25 feet um, onto the rock. Ooh, so I, I believe... Some kind of land, you have epic, looking epic. Um, oh, that was what I was thinking. 1d6 How? per 10 feet. As well, so 2d6. Um, I, I, an... I think it might be 1d6. Is it 1d6 per 10 feet above 10 feet? Or is it just... 
Was that that, makes, that would make sense. I think it's just per 10 feet. I don't think it's... I think, no, I think it is 1d6 for 10 feet, so it would be 2d6 for 25. Okay, so you're going to do 2d6, but make an acrobatics check in the air. Oh, 19. Um, so you managed to right yourself um, and land. It still hurts. You're going to take 3 damage instead of 6, but you managed to soak up a bit of that impact. Oh, superhero landed. <laughs> superhero landed. <laughs> how, how loud was the bad for your knees? Yeah, how bad? Oh, yeah, how bad was it? It was quite loud. Oh no! It was a it was a thud. Oh. Um, I'm like, is, has, did like... he fall past me, or did I land and then he fell? Oh no, you landed and then he fell. So I'm, I'm like hopefully... waving the torch around, trying to see around me. Hopefully you can all just see that see. patch there. You can't okay. see the rest of the room. Tiny little yep. square, yeah. Yeah, that's good then. That's where you all are. Uh, Rookstore has dark vision, so I don't know how much they can see. Oh. The hand for the dark vision. Uh, oh, oh my god! Oh, it's, oh, the oh, it's the building destroyer! It's <laughs> it's flying away. It's not there. <laughs> I could really do something about that. Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny, but also threatening every time it happens. It's like, oh, God! It's the destroyer of buildings. Edge. Gets you on edge every time. Okay. So, uh, you have landed. That light is illuminating that much of the space around you. So those without dark vision, that's what you can see. Uh Dede has those a torch with out. Dark vision. How far is your dark vision? Sixty feet of as if it were bright light and in darkness if it were dim light. I think I can't really hang on, you just put it there and then it can move. I'm not good at reading dark vision. Uh, you can see in dim light within 60 feet of you as if it were bright light and in darkness as it was dim light you can't discern colour in darkness only shades of grey cool so for this for scale um, so where that would be 30 that would actually be 60 so double the movement at one. this is bigger than roll 20 is letting it be if that makes sense just yeah, checking fine. torches. So torches provide bright light and a 20 foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. Yeah. So we can see for 40 feet as if it were bright light and 20 feet as if it were dim light. Half that. Just on feet. that measuring. Yeah. So 20 feet out is dim. From the day. The day has the torch. <laughs> 20 feet from him. So, if he has a torch, can you mark that out again? I'll try and reveal a bit more for you. Oh, yeah, we can we can see 30 feet if we have dark vision. 30 of yep. this. So we can see 60 total, so that's what you can see if you have dark vision. And that's what you can see if you don't. So, in effect, let me try and do this so you've got that much. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. In effect... Yeah. From Rookstore, it's there. Cool. That much? I guess it only Rookstore can see this far. Uh, and Theodore. I have dark vision too. Oh, okay, never mind. So it's just. Uh, if I just complete the square. <laughs> yeah, Roughly we get like the... this. Rookstore's there, like, oh, that is right. what those with dark vision can see. Okay. Um, Those without, you can only up see here, um, that's like a 10 foot climb. So you're kind of in a well and you've got about 10 feet up to get out of this. Look towards the edge over there. Um, yeah. What would you like to do? Mm. Am I going first again? <laughs> Over there. He's like pointing at things that the other people that can't see through dark vision can't see. He's just pointing at shit. I'm gonna be back in a couple of minutes and use the uh, bathroom. Oh. Alright. Oh. Yeah. I can just imagine Rooksaw going, just pointing at things, and then just be like, I can see that over there, and then the two people without dark vision are like, the fuck can you see? 
in my head. <laughs> Rent free. Of people going, why the fuck do you see? I see a big ass hornet. I will say just while Crappy's gone, so while you're all down here, you do all get the distinct impression you're being watched. I mean, there was a loud thud. <laughs> and that giant house killing demon bat. Yep. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what, what demon bat? You didn't see no demon bat. I mean, yeah. I did. I did hear something down here. <laughs> me, me and Sirun saw big bat. <laughs> yeah. I know what I'm doing when I see an enemy down here. I don't think about that. <laughs> I went, yeah, it was Sirun and me in the room. <laughs> but I mean, it was the most afraid of an orc with an axe. <laughs> I love being in one half orc. It's fun. Especially when our champion has to fight a half orc, everything just becomes insane. <laughs> All about having savage attack. Wait, how far is the torch lighting? I think the torch light effectively half of this. Oh, okay, so. So you can't yeah. see like somewhere. I, c I can see that patch of rock at least. Russell's pointing mm -hmm. over here somewhere and you just can't see what he's pointing at. <laughs> I can see the beginning of it. <laughs> no, he's like pointing over here somewhere and you're like, the fuck are you pointing at? <laughs> That's just water. Where? That way. <laughs> where? Oh, yeah. In the darkness? <laughs> Russell said, like, there's a waterfall over there. What waterfall? I can oh, hear it, but I can't blind. see it. <laughs> You're blind, piece of shit. I can smell it. I can smell the water. <laughs> smell the water. <laughs> <laughs> the water is foul. You can definitely smell the water. <laughs> it's just two. It's just Rooksaw and some big banterous piece of asshole going. I can see that piece of shit over there. And he and they're just they're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Rooksaw's just teasing. The tea father. <laughs> Waiting for Skank to wake up. He fell asleep down here. Rooks all fell on him. <laughs> that knocked him clean out. <laughs> oh god. Imagine the sound down here <laughs> as Teddy shoots his gun. It's going to echo all over the room. Imagine a half orc landing on someone so small, all the bones would shatter. <laughs> If anyone's, like, uh, up at the well, they're just going to hear gunshots. Okay, <laughs> just yeah. go up the well. I'm back. First, what have I missed? Uh, nothing. nothing. We basically been waiting. Oh, yeah, well, we were oh waiting right, for you. <laughs> I basically just let them know that you have the distinct impression that you're being watched. Ooh. So, I can hear you. you're at the bottom of a well. What would you like to do? I mean, I can't. You definitely heard this thing. You did heard hear two the... sounds as well. W did I hear the like di direction of it? Or... Yes. So the scuttering and the flapping sound came from this direction over here, mm. and okay. the sucking sound came from over here. Since I can, I can see the water in front of me, right? Yes. How deep is it? Uh... About five feet deep there. It's not the deepest well. Oh. <laughs> well, you get the sense that it's that's quite deep. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of coming in here and then just seeps out. Hmm. I mean, as much as I want to go first, I can't see anything. Oh, you're blind piece of shit! I go first. I will say your weapon of warning. Just semantically is vibrating. Oh. There is danger here that it is it warning you about. Like, that means we're safe, right? <laughs> That's what that means. I warned you! You didn't just come down here and drop into a pit of despair. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And as you're stood there, you hear 
flapping. Oh? Above you. Too oh. high for you to see. Uh oh. But it moves. The sound that you heard um, Ronan from over here yeah. has moved over here. Uh oh. Oh, can I see? If he's there. Then... And that's like 10 feet up or something. It's 10 feet up. You heard it go in this direction. It may not be exactly there, but it's up there somewhere. Uh, do we still feel like we've been watched? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh well, do you, you, you're do you not know it's real, real sad? There's a a grit trick shot that I could have got that would have been so good against this bat, but I've been I took a trick shot that is just useless instead because I took a disarming shot and none of the creatures we're up against have weapons. <laughs> no. <laughs> that regrets happen. So, what would you like to do? Oh, uh, what, what did you hear? That Guys, you need to like. Guide me on where to walk. <laughs> I'm just well, going to fall down the water. Here? Down here, still, there is still a torch. You can still see something. Yeah, I can see the like, like the beginning of this rock formation, but I can't yeah. see anything there. else. There's I can't see like where it ends or where it a, goes. It has like five feet, and then it goes into more water. Yeah, you would be able to see kind of this lip here, so you know you could. Get up there, but you... right. I'm what more is, interested is... about this sound coming from this corner. <laughs> if it's coming from that direction, then I think, uh, what's it? What's the sound? What is this sound? I heard the sound. It sounds like one of the guys that we met on the second floor. I flew away. I'm ready, We're ready for anything that comes our way. Well, I tried to jump this gap. Right, onto this rock formation. Okay. Good luck. Um, I would say yeah. With your with your movement, you can clear that gap. Actually, how far is it? It's like I'm gonna assume you can jump. Yeah, yeah, you can jump that gap. Ten feet, five feet, depending on where you stand. So oh, it's technically ten feet, feet, but with a good leap, good running jump, you can make that. I will say the two shorter folk may have trouble. <laughs> they would have to. What? You'd have to do checks. <laughs> okay, what does Rockdor see? Because I can't see anything. <laughs> Rockdor will help these guys out first before he sees anything. So I need my blind him. dog. He's I'm blind. Looking, help! He's not looking this way at the moment. He's not looking over here. I'm just. I, I like Rockdor. I make direct eye contact with you, and I'm like, "Don't let me fall, buddy." And I run and I just, like, if I, you miss my head, you I suck. run and I and I jump like flying leap as high as I possibly can. Which isn't that high, make, but I try. Make an athletics check. Athletics? Oh, my best stat. Rookshaw Rook has his hand out for guidance. With advantage because he is helping. He's trying uh -oh. to help. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And oh no, hand. he's in the water. He's he's in the water. <laughs> yeah, no. Um that was the advantage issue trying to catch him. Oh, okay, yeah. So no, you plunge into the water. Right. It's oh, cold. Yeah. It's. I mean, I'm like three foot tall. This is a five foot deep water. I'm so I put it Can... out of water. Is if, it reach? if you could, yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. This is not raised up out of the water. You would be able to reach out and grab him. I'll grab him. So yeah, you can just grab you, pull you out. You're a bit wet. You made a splash. Can I and check my after... pistol and my musket to make sure they're still capable of firing? Like the moment I'm out of the water. Yeah. I'm like going through it, giving it a clean, like rapidly cleaning it. Although I imagine the torch got submerged and would have gone out. The torch did get submerged. And has gone out. Um, goes out for his your guns you. are fine. I will say your pouch that you keep your gunpowder in is made of seal skin. So okay, it yeah. is waterproof to a point, and since it was just a dunking splash, yeah, cool. all Thank is well. Appreciate it. <laughs> that could have got rough. I'm not going to leave you without a weapon. Like, oh, Arabia, you could have been a yeah. massive dick about it, but yeah, my entire class is built for, for range weapons. I was like, okay. I'm not, Rookdor's not really looking over there at the moment, so... No, no, but I'm gonna, like slowly revealing it as you go. I, I'm getting up, and I'm instantly looking over there. 
Now Frank yeah. will check it out. Now for us, the other one's like, come on, jump! Uh, come on, it's jump. 30 That's feet, not 60 feet, so you can see. Oh no, you would, yeah. yeah. yeah it's 60 feet dark vision, but for yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm effectively halving it for this Oh, area. yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, sorry. So, essence is there, let's call it. Okay. Still, still putting his hand out for the other one. Come on! So, if Pete, you're now over the other side, and Crafty, are you jumping over too? Hi, right, I'll give it a go. So, it's got his hand out again. Come on! An oh, athletics check. Come on, catch my hand. Unlock the other one. Come on. Again with advantage. Oh, oh easy. You don't even grab the hat. You just, you just leap and land. Well, at least you had it there. The heart of my hand was there for you. <laughs> I don't <laughs> need no help for that, mate. Hey, hey, at least I was offering support. You, and offer you, it to, again. you can offer it to my ex-wife. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you hear clapping. Up and over, around you. Holding his axe. Ending over here. Oh, and then a... you hear scurrying. I saw a shadow. I saw something saw go over the map. We saw a shadow. <laughs> it flew over us. You hear? You heard the flying end over here, and then kind of scuttering, crawling sound like rocks getting moved, and the sound has stopped. So we like it something went there, somewhere else. And something in this corner that as well. Oh uh, no. Whatever is in this corner that you're more interested in, let's continue to wave from the dingo. Doctor, do you see any way to go on? It seems I like mean, we're on a rock again. I don't know how to get over to these ledges over here. Everyone make a perception check. For points me. in general direction. <laughs> do I have advantage? And because we can yes, see. Yes, it is a sound. Oh, perception. Perception. Skank oh my it. god, let's go. Rock let's go, it's my time to shine. It's my time to shine. Theodore, you hear it. So Theodore and Ronin, you both hear the definite sound of a woman. Oh. A little murmuring help. Oh no, when I, mean, I, I turn, I turn to Rock over here. Face and I say, throw me. Looks so like, are you sure you want to be for me? Looks so grabs him, he's like, which way am I flowing you? I point towards the sound. And he eats you. This way. That's Bro, a ten, f that's ten foot high. And oh. will about 30 foot he... away. It would have he to be will... like a 40 foot throw. He will throw as hard as he fucking can. <laughs> okay. Make a... I assume... Are I'm you just picking my, up and throwing own, him, or are you? I'm using my own momentum, and I'm like, to yeah, I will ass I'm like getting a boost. Yeah, yeah. I will okay, assist Rocker. Um, Rocker. I will assist him. Uh, um, Rocker, make so, a strength check with advantage. Yep. And Pete, make. Um, <laughs> I think you will get a ten. Even ten. Make Pete make an. Um, Probably athletics. Instead of acrobatics, since it's tank based. That's what I'm thinking. Or would it be. No, make a strength saving throw. Oh. Interesting. Oh, because you're trying to combine both. Oh, no. Badly. Badly. Oh, no. no. So you. You get there. You Your hands grab the lip. And you can't hold. And you fall into the water. Mm -hmm. Not enough to hurt. Stem would drop into water. But another splash. Okay, over there. And at that point. The scurrying intensifies. Oh, I, I, like, back I like out clamber, of here. Clamber walk back towards the little island. And you see at the corner of your vision a shadow appear at the top of this lip. So who's got Ew! dark vision? You can shoot! I said oh, shoot! Oh, no. oh wait, this is in the water. Now would might you see him? Yeah, yeah, you would see... Would, R Rocta, um, toss me. Rocktor and Theo would see it there. So Wait, you want to be tossed? <clears throat> Teddy That's didn't like... make it, but I might. Toss me! <laughs> oh Where my god! I can I reach up? No, no, no. I, I want to go over here. You can reach up and shoot at it, yeah. Okay. Look, so we'll try again. <laughs> um, Fine. 15 feet. You want 19. to be thrown 15 feet. 19 hits. 
I'm like, cover your ass! Shoot. Oh my god, I'm... Go I'm dead again. 13. 13 damage. Okay. So that, that's that and I'm there. dead now. Well, Let's I'm go. I'm like, Rokko is throwing another small person today. <laughs> Okay, so fifteen feet. Hold up. So you take you taking the shot. I will say, are you throwing him? Yeah, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna use my momentum. Yep. But this time, sure. And I assist Rokter again. <laughs> yep. So same thing. Uh, Rock Tomic strength check with advantage. Do I do a strength saving throw? Uh, depending on his roll. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, the twenty-two, crafty, do a acrobatics check. Uh, you're not trying to stop yourself falling now. This is how you're gonna land. Oh, hey, twenty-one. Nice. You just like you just land beautifully on your feet. Like take two steps Wait. and you are there. And with that, we Skank, shall roll you... initiative. Skank, do you have dark vision? I I do not. You you didn't you you, you didn't bitch black right there. You can't see anything. Yeah, you can't see shit up I've there. Got, I've, you got, can't um, see. I've got a torch. Oh, torch oh. then. Yeah, you can see bits. Um, and we shall roll initiative. Oh no. Finally, a high roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, another one. I guess I'm getting an at one. <laughs> oh, now we win. One higher. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. <laughs> We're all garbage. Of course I'm first, I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do shit. Most of you can't do anything. Very well then. The I can use that. Really it heard the shoot. splash. Okay. So I can just see so scared. him. So I can just see him. Myself. I think. Oh no, the sounds, they changed. <laughs> Can I just really should have found some battle music, but I didn't, and I regret it. But anyway. Can I just see? Um, so, who is first? Rock Toy, you are first. Nope, I'm not first. I'm first. Uh, oh, sorry, team. I haven't changed the thing. My bad, I do apologize. Okay. There we go, yes. You are first. You currently cannot see it. I, uh... Uh, Theo took a shot into the shadow. What is it the weapon of warning doing right now? It is screaming at you. <laughs> I put away my shield. And I transform. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I wish I had another token for you. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wish I had another token for me as well. <laughs> oh, well. Um... I assume you are fully aware of what all of this does. Oh. My advantage on stretch checks. Okay, well, you transform into what? What does it look like when you transform? Uh, half man, half werewolf. Oh, shit. Okay, so you burst out into your werewolf form, the howl echoing around the chamber. Do you do anything and else? I... Uh, um... Hmm... <laughs> Proctor, throw me! <laughs> Where am I from? How, you how big are you now? <laughs> same, Just... same size. size oh, same there. size. Yeah, you could. You, how yeah, tiny? you can try and throw him. Character? Medium, uh, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm human sized. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can, is... you can still be thrown. Oh, it's powerful because he's only five eleven. You're taller than me. Okay, so remember now that you've transformed, your AC has gone up. I put my shield away, so it's gone down by one. Okay, so it's gone down by one instead of up by one, yeah. Fine, look to throwing another person, let's go. What is this? Uh, um, Don't throw. Hang about, I'm, no, no, I'm just thinking about this, because it's your turn, but you're asking him to do an action. It would be hold you to hold your... Yeah. Maybe hold you your have, action. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm so holding hold my, your... my action yeah. to jump until it's his turn so he can throw me. Yes. And then you'd have to use your action to throw him. That's fine then, I'll do that. Okay, so I you're holding your action. Uh, crafty. He can't see anything. <laughs> well, I have, I have my... You have a torch. 
Mm. So I'm you can see the lid. Uh, up to 10 feet. So you can see kind of up to there. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to go in the Cheaper. direction of the noise of the lady. Okay, that was up here. So you can move up to kind of this area here to start with, and I will reveal more. Okay. So ten feet from here. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Click reveal. There we go. Got there in the end. Thank you for that. You can move another ten feet. You move ten feet. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna move to here. So you can move to that. And he falls off the ledge and dies. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know oh, where he was. Crafty. I love you, I'm so happy. Oh no. Did he walk off the ledge? What's no. that? <laughs> what did he do? In fact, you just moved exactly there. Oh no. What have you done? Oh my oh, god. Oh no! How? It's a surprise <laughs> attack as well. <laughs> Um, um, well, I go... it's not in this initiative order, it will come into the initiative order on the next round, but you walk, you stumble in front of, um, if you remember in his notes, the madman wrote about something finding him and mm. making him like her, um, slightly so, bigger. Uh, well, I... This one, however, looks, uh, as you walk into it, you you kind of struck by fear, so there's not much to see, but it sat down. Bits of blood on it. It doesn't appear to be at full strength, but you see. Well, I go. I will just. <laughs> I go into a, a reckless attack range and swing at yep. it with my great axe. Okay. Reckless. Go for it. You drop your torch. Yeah, that's fine. The torch is next to me. 21. 21 hit. Deal six plus the two rage damage, so eight damage. Cool. And that will be my turn. Right. And next to it, you see a bloodied dwarven, young dwarven woman who it was seemingly feeding off, still clutching onto life. Ah! And I called out to the others I found the girl! And something else! It kind of resembles my ex wife! <laughs> Does she have red hair? She has terrible taste in women. Does she have red hair? I'm sure she had an ex-boyfriend earlier as well. <laughs> Does she have red I'll hair? I take what I can get if you're not fucking seen me. Look, okay. right, what did you get it? Is uh, it actually it the is going, It is going to also roll initiative for it now. Now, it has joined the fight. Oh. 16, but it won't be going up until next turn this wasn't in the original it's throwing dome <laughs> so although it's in there at 16 it's not going to go at yeah, 16. Round, okay. yeah so can i see we... where he is christian can i still see him just if this is where you want to go is this where you're asking to be thrown no I, i'm asking to go where uh yeah. Yeah, you, went. you won't yeah. be able to throw him that far i just i'm just asking questions because i don't know i have no context to where i'm throwing people <laughs> Oh, I'll just throw yep. him there. Okay, so the make a strength. Yeah, strength. without advantage this time because yep, he strength. can't help you. Sixteen. Uh, make a strength saving throw for me. Oh, oh no. Well then, I have an advantage. Yep. It's for you. <laughs> oh, take the first one. Yeah, 17. No, yeah. You you, you get there. You kind of don't make it up all the way. You have to clamber up that last little bit, but you are now no, up man. on that ledge. Both times he rolled that twice, he both got, he got two fours. <laughs> so, Rockjaw, that was your action. Um, it's your bonus action, if anything. Well, I'm just going to move up here. I can't really do much of a bonus action, so I'll just grab my axe. So I can't okay. ready myself for a bonus, so I'll just look intimidating. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
as I can just see him, so I'm just giving him an, an, an intimidating stare. <laughs> yep, and that brings us up to Theodore. I'm just gonna fucking unload some shot, um, shot, yep. um, third shot. Da, 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 da. Right. With a how? Oh, love 14. Oh. 14 misses. Shit. Um. Wait, what is the range? How far away from me is he? Uh, seventy feet. He's seventy. Feet. Eighty feet. Eighty. If he's so I can't actually see him at all. I mean, you just have to move a little bit closer. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm just. Yeah. I'm also just. Okay. So I'll move a bit closer. That's why I moved. Um. But yeah. So I'll action surge. Take another shot. Alright. Twenty-five. Twenty-five definitely hits. Or oh, um, actually, he's in dim light, isn't he? I'm seeing him as if he's in dim light. Yeah. So it should be his... disadvantage for me on that attack roll. It should still be his outline. Uh, I mean, it's quite big. Hmm. Oh, That's what I'm thinking. Color. Yeah, because dim light attacks have disadvantage in dim light. So because oh, he's okay. in dim light, I should have disadvantage on the attack. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, I'll play by rules. I don't yeah, alright. Yeah, okay, yeah. You can have disadvantage on the attack. Doesn't matter. Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> Roll that damage. Eight piercing. Yay. Eight. Cool. Fired. Okay. Fired. Fired. It, it is his turn. Seeing well, you it's jump it's up there and hearing his mate scream with pain. It's unhappy. It is going to ignore you, and it is. It can make that. It is going to leap onto you up here. No. And make a proboscis attack. Proboscic. Shish. Well. I honestly think this might kill us. Oh, now that was one. That was one. one. Thank fuck. That was twenty-two damage. Oh, twenty-two God. damage. And it would have healed ten. Yeah, exactly. It would have healed more damage than I dealt to it. My fur is too strong. We, we need to overwhelm these things. We can't be going one on one. We'll just lose. Well, that's it's certainly a kind of thing. It's not very good for bonus actions. That's the thing. If it you screws fool, up, you're in grappling well. range. <laughs> you can't fly away from me now. That's it's turn. Um, we are back up. It is now you. It's in range. <laughs> It screams at you, it is, and it takes, it tries to stab you with its beak-like protrusion, but so, you manage to get out of the way. Uh, Pete, do I just roll a d4 to activate my flame, uh, right to flame? Yeah, so I think you roll, you roll whatever your Hemocraft die is, which I believe is a d4 at your level. It is a d4. And I think you just take that? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Right. You take necrotic damage equal to one roll of your Hemocraft die, yeah. So just a d4, and you, you can't be reduced in any way. So yeah, just roll a d4, take that much damage, and then your Crimson Rite is activated. Three damage. Cool. And now my claws... Yeah, both mm -hmm. of your claws activate. So for yep. all of your unarmed strikes, you get to add the Hemocraft. Yep. And I, I, I swing at it with my claws. Swing at it. Is he is Crimson Right a bonus action? Oh my god, how many fucking dice take the eight? Thirteen. Wait, mind. Thirteen. No, no, you could. Oh no, it will be denied. It will be disadvantaged because you're in darkness. You can't see shit. Um, I can. I can hear it as well. Your, your hands are on fire though. So oh, I'd say yeah. you kind of have oh, light around you. Yeah. So if it's in melee, no, it's fine. It doesn't matter. You still miss with the thirteen. And but I if you're in bonus. melee, then no, you won't have. This I use my bonus action. To take another swing at it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, out. what are my rolls? They no miss again. You you turn, you light your hands, you swing at it, but like two feral beasts dodging, just it's whipping out of the way as you're whipping it out of the way. Two of them throwing. But no, oh, yeah, can't hit it. Into the darkness. Uh, rock to ore. Okay. I'm trying to think if I can use all of my movement to sprint off of this bit and then try to jump using my axe onto the side. Yep. Yeah. Like, 
I will allow it. I don't know what I'd be thinking. My small thing of light. Oh, that? that would be 40 feet, which is a more. Um... Mm. I could... It would be a dash action. If you use your dash action, yeah, you could fine. run and leap that. up there. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. I was going to say, I want to get so... up there because I'm a fighter. Yeah. I can't do much on the ground if I can't get Yeah. Speak for yourself. You have a sniper. Oh, so, I you want hold. me to roll for this? Uh, uh, no, because you're using your dash, ac dash action to physically climb up there, then I'd say no. You managed to you managed to get up. Are you right. <laughs> so, uh, any bonus action? I don't have a bonus action, so I just turn the there. face. Okay. There, so it's there, it's between the two of you now. Rafty, you are face to face with one of these on your own. Oh, sorry, Rumpel, just quickly. Is there any chance mm -hmm. during the night I took any more time to identify the potions? If you would have liked to have done, yeah. Yeah, I would have liked to at least try. If not, that's fine. I did forget to talk about it. Um, no, no, it's fine. I would say, much like attuned to an item, you could have spent some time dipping and tasting. Um, you get the sense that these potions... Mm -hmm. Though very milky, I think I see that. Um, would give you advantage on perception checks and give dark vision. Oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> mm. Because they're unpasteurized and nothing gets pasteurized. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I love that. I saw that as a D, &D joke. I was like, I'm using that. <laughs> you know what? The takeaway, though, from all of this, guys, is that we when we got items. And we're going to have a rest. We should look at the items. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Life is difficult. So, I, you know, that's okay. Uh, it's memory fine. Sounds like you, sir. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Right. You, you I, two, two things to get dark vision to the people that didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. I got my torch. Yep. Right. And I'm you going... can see it right in front of you. Exactly. I'm going into a frenzy. Uh, Do it. I'm still recklessing. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the great axe. Come on. 15. <laughs> Misses. Son of a biscuit. Um, lucky because... Wait, I've got my frenzy. Did I activate my frenzy last turn? Or was it this yes. turn? Yes. I did. Then I get yes. to do a uh, make a single melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Yes, you do. Uh, 17. Hits. Oh, thank you. 14 damage. It is. You lift your axe, you smash it into the side, and this creature yelps. It is. It crashes to the floor on its side. It is not looking good. Oh, is this the, is this the first that he's fighting? Is the one that I hit in the first time? Uh, no, the one that you hit is over here. This one is the matriarch. Who this is... Oh. This one in the corner is all me so it far. Was, it's all me. It was it was pre, oh, it was pre it was, it was pre hurt by something else and was feeding off the girl. Okay. To I just thought that because they're like maybe this one I heard it or is it this one? Right, that will be my turn. Well, it's now its turn and it is fucking furious and is gonna lash out at you with its beaky protrusion for a oh. twenty-three. Oh. I'll take oh, it. Nice. So that's um, nine piercing, halved to four, five. Four, four. Rounding up. Come on, come on. This is a savage campaign. We're rounding up in this bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, so five piercing and nine necrotic. It then heals that nine, nine necrotic. So that would bring it back to there. And you see as it lances out and stabs you with its stinger, it's sucks the blood out of you and seems to some of its wounds wounds seem to close up as it drinks your blood nice and that is its turn uh, who is next Pete cool I'm going to you will uh, not have disadvantage now because um, Rose claws boost. are lighting it up <laughs> flame boost is you yeah, so I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna shoot it once because I have one more bullet yep. left in the chamber mm -hmm. 20 hits 
Eight piercing. Eight piercing, nice. And now I have to wait a whole round before I can do... I have to wait a... <laughs> oh, you have two guns. Nothing bad will happen. Oh, you have yeah, a down gun. there. All it's alone. Probably worth just reloading. I, like taking a turn to reload than it is to just switch guns and then I have to it's... switch back again and then reload anyway, so... Fair enough, fair enough. It is going to take a stab at you, Ronan, at the big beast in front of it. Okay. Get 18. Oh, that hits. 18 hits, so that's 18 damage. So No. Not that's 14. Because he is transformed. Oh. Nice. So yeah, 14 damage, but it heals the 9. So it heals one. <laughs> heals more damage than a <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys. Jeez. <laughs> uh, that's its turn. Hmm. The fact that it deals necrotic damage is just a banging way of getting past barbarian defenses as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing uh, I don't are... get flanking for this. Uh, no, yeah, you do. Oh, I do. I'm like yep. right behind it, so. Well, I guess I. Swipe at it with my glass again. <laughs> Welcome to the Wait, event. Does the right the flame no, stay it. on? It does, yeah, no, it's yes. it's okay. until you drop your weapon, I think, or until it I don't think it has the time. I mean my glass are on fire, so I guess until I'm unconscious or I sleep or something. Uh, I, don't yep. know. I die. Until, yeah, it literally lasts until you finish a short or a long rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's huge. It's really strong. Well I guess I That's take a swing at it with my glass. Go for it. Cool. Oh, take the first one. Oh, never mind. 16. Oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's... 16, 16 does just hit. Oh. And I just double checked. I was getting something wrong, but that's fine. So that does hit. You do 12 damage to it. Nice. Mm. And I use my bonus action to attack again. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the bonus section. <laughs> where we get free ones. <laughs> first one. Mm. Oh. First one, yeah, that hits. Another 10. Oh, Damn. I missed, I missed the 25. Damn. It, it is looking rough. It is not happy. Be on and fire. I did just, I just but... double checked. So I was like, hang about, why would it do that? And I did miss the fact that this thing does actually have multi attack, so be ready for that next round. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> well then, uh, that's my turn. Uh, <laughs> this entire time we've been like, oh, this is it's not awful, and you're like, aha, and now I bring it up a little. Yeah, it should do a bite I'm, attack. I was like, I'm why guess. would I have this attack? And I, I never use it, because that's better. And I was like, hang about, and I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it but should anyway, do like a bite attack. On. <laughs> Look so it, yeah, it has a claw. A claw. Uh, Roctor is up to you. She goes like, you have advantage, just say. 21, that hits. Uh, let me roll for my advantage. R roll again, yeah. Just to be yeah. Just... 21. Nice. nice. <laughs> Slashing. <laughs> it's still up. <laughs> and it's about to heal a ton. No, you're going uh, to... Oh, wait. You're... You no. can't do anything. No. Pete, um, no. It's the other one. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, Pete. Cool. And Pete, it's your turn. Yeah, what about the other one, then? What about Crafty and... Yeah, one? Oh shit, oh shit, yeah, Crafty. Sorry, I thought that was Pete. I was He's fighting on his own. Crafty, <laughs> frickin' gingerist. <laughs> 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 to be fair, can you blame him? <laughs> no, I can't, I really can't. <laughs> right, <clears throat> my first attack. Great Axe, 21. Oh, definitely hits. Alright, that's 10, ten damage. <laughs> Then I go and use my frenzy for a second hit. Yep. Seventeen. Six damage. <laughs> it's still up. Ah! It's going to heal oh, again. Man. That's that's me done. <laughs> I'm not now. Close to this. Um, okay, and it is going to go in with its. Probosic attack um, right okay, back at say, you. You, have, you haven't used it yet, but you realize you get advantage back at Crafty, right? He gets, he's oh, shit. Reckless attack gives you advantage against him as well. Yeah. Oh. 
Fuck. Okay then. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, was going, I haven't mentioned it yet but... because every time you've hit, but I actually I should have because you could have crit. But yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. First attack, sixteen. Does that hit? It does. It does. That's twenty-one damage. Halved to fifteen. Oh, yeah, well, no, the first one. First uh, one's yeah, halved. Yeah. Yep, fifteen. Then you yep, feel so nine. fifteen damage in total. And it's back up to there. And do um, the thing that I've been forgetting, which is it's. I mm -hmm. use a reaction to do stones endurance. <gasps> uh, oh, uh, where is that? Yeah. And so I'll roll a d12. Wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, d12 endurance. Yep. Yeah. And my constitution so modifier, so I restore eight. Eight. restore eight health. No, cool. you don't restore, you resist eight. Oh, I resist, resist yeah. eight. But if you've already Ooh. taken it off, you just had it back on. Yeah. yeah. How and it's going to come okay. in then. Is a can, you, can you can you resist the necrotic damage and then stop it healing? Uh, I have no idea. The stretch. I don't, I don't quite know what the word. I don't is. think it can. Maybe. Hmm. What is the description of it? I don't know. You when you take damage, you can use your reaction to roll, ah, da, 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 and reduce the damage by that total. I don't know. I, don't I would say because so. you're reducing the damage taken. And if the ability of the the drain is damage dealt, you're not actually dealing yeah. the damage. That's a stretch, but so, yeah, but yeah, it's piercing general. damage before necrotic damage. Yeah, so I stopped. Pierces... So I stopped four of the piercing, and I will have then stopped um, another four pierce uh, necrotic. So you four have... piercing. No, no, I stopped another four piercing. Oh, sorry, because the first one was I was looking at the second lot, so mm. it was six, six damage. Six. So I, I resumed. So I yeah. So you restored seven instead of nine. Hold up, Wait, look, uh, the first one, so you go down to six. Would have been six damage that I would have taken. Yeah. So I mm -hmm. used, you brought, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, reduced, yeah. I stopped eight damage. So I prevented that whole yeah. six oh, yeah, damage. Yeah. Then out of the nine oh, necrotic, the necrotic. Yeah, so you would only restore seven instead of nine health. Yes. Yes. So take two of those seven. points back. <laughs> it has done, but it's then going to come at you with its claw. Fourteen. Uh, it does not hit. Dang, so you managed to get away from the... Oh, you shit, yeah, bandage. Bandage. yeah. The gods oh, have God, spoken! Okay, and... Pete. Do not... Alright, I'm gonna aim, and I'm gonna shoot at the one right in front of me. Uh, you need to reload. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Good, <laughs> good, good catch. Good catch. I reload. <laughs> and there's okay. my turn. Oh. Yes, so... this, is, this is why I need multi-attack, because you use up an, one of your attacks to reload. So when you have like four attacks, you reload and still get to do three. But when you only have one attack a turn, you'll li you literally spend an entire turn reloading. It's, it's the, the downside of it. There are D10, but it's the, sa it's the downside of the gun, is the fact that you have to spend a whole turn reloading. Should have stayed to an action surge for your reload. To be fair, there are probably feats which allow me to ignore that, but I didn't take a feat, so that's my bad. Okay, so it's now up to this one. Yep. It is gonna keep going for the burning hand things in front. <laughs> burning hand with things. A... Like, oh, that's my AC just hit. 17. Okay, so that's an 11 gosh. damage and it heals 7. Nine. Oh shit, yeah, you're half a... God damn. Half a <laughs> it still yeah, heals that. So oh, I'm going to take a claw it. strike at you for oh, 24, God, that's, that's but half to three. three. Yep. It's then... Is it going to try to fly and die? <laughs> <laughs> it's thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be two attacks happening on mm -hmm. it. <laughs> and a great axe is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I crit. A yeah, no, it's gonna head. it's gonna fly straight up. Oh, we can still. It's gonna it's it. gonna yeah yeah. So it's gonna fly straight up into the darkness, so none of you can see it. But oh, as it does fly up, you guys, it, it's too it'll be too high for you. You won't be able to see it. No, but before it does, it's still where. Yeah, oh yeah, still you still get your pain yeah pain yeah. Pain so both of you, blue, you will not be able to see it. Yes. Do they so both, both get advantage? Still. On the opportunity attack because they're flanking. Yes. Maybe. Yes. 
I would say no, because it's no longer... Otherwise, why would you always get it when it's sophisticated? Because it's no longer... Because I always thought the flanking rules is focused on something else. So that's why you get advantage. That's yeah. It's kind of pinned. Yeah. At this that's point, it's, it's, just, it's just fleeing, so you're just trying to swipe at it. It's not like... Otherwise, I would say, arguably, on all um, opportunity attacks, you could argue advantage. So I'll say no, because okay. you're taking a quick swipe as it's trying to get away. Fair enough. Go for that hit. 19. 19. That and hits. 11. 11. So the 11 sad. misses. That's the, the 19 hits, thing though. I've ever seen. <laughs> yep. If only you had not all roll your damage. Uh, seven. Oh, seven. Oh, seven damage. <gasps> Is that enough? Tell me what's enough. Is that exactly no. enough? No. It's on one hit point. And it escapes ah! into the darkness. Oh! Jesus, you cowardly piece of shit! <laughs> can bet you die with all that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, so it's flown. Yeah, that's its turn. <laughs> it was on one hit point. It then healed with its last attack and then ran, up, ran away and you managed to get it back down to one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like Rookstall all over again the last fight. He's just supposed to go down. <laughs> Um, so, Saron, it's your turn. Hmm. So it went straight uh, up as far as I can went, tell. It went straight up, yeah. Can I roll for this, uh, like, can I hear it flapping its wings somewhere? Yeah, you can try and see where it went. Since it's hearing its advantage. I'm guessing. Uh, yes. Yeah. 12. Um, the sound is slightly echoing. It's no longer trying to be stealthy, but it's hard to pinpoint exactly where it's coming from. Wait. Oh god, all the distances are messed up here. All the distances are doubled, so you can be 15 feet in effect. Mm. Okay. Let's see. What do I do? Oh yeah, I still have a healing potion. Hmm. I guess that's all I can do. I guess I drink the potion. Okay. Uh, use your action to drink it, then you just heal full. Okay. okay. Then hit points. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, rock tall. You I'm do not dashing. see where it went. I'm dashing. Yeah. That's all. I'm just dashing in this direction because I know he went this following, uh, following him. So that's all okay. I can do. All right. Time for some great axe swinging. <laughs> yep. 16. <laughs> just hits. Oh, that's 12. Oh, that's... And with that, how do you want to do it? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Right. I swing the axe from the ground up so that it so sparks run along the ground and I cut it from stern all the way up to its jaw right up the middle and it just flops in two halves just spread across the stone that's how you do it that is nice Okay. Uh, and with that, um, it, a bonus action, I drink a potion of healing. So uh, roll for it. 2d4 two two D plus 2. So eight. 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 Nice. Nice. Not bad. You hmm. kill it, Chunk. You kill it. You okay. Kill so d is that my turn now? Does it skip the. Because that was it the dead yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Attack? All right. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to just. Holster my pistol, I'm gonna draw my musket, and I'm gonna just... So, I don't know how you're doing this, but I cannot see it. It's classed as invisible, so technically I should be able to attack it. It's just attacks have disadvantage. Unless you would like uh, to rule otherwise, which is perfectly fine. I will say, make a perception check to even try and work out the vague direction. Uh, yeah, no, that, that makes went. more sense to me, yeah. Okay, so... Disadvantage, advantage, anything? Uh, no, just a straight roll. Straight roll. 
13? 13. Uh, no, you... As, as like, Ronan, the wings are echoing round, it's hard to pinpoint exactly where it is. I mean, you could take a random shot yeah, into I'm gonna, the I'm, darkness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an estimate guess, and I'm just gonna roll a random shot into the darkness. So, I have okay. a disadvantage. Uh, just roll a d20 for me to start with. Nine. Nine. And now roll with disadvantage. Seventeen. Nope. You fire off. Clings off the wall. No, no, yeah, cool. I, I just drop my musket on the ground and get ready to draw my pistol. Okay. And that brings it to its turn. So, seeing, hearing its mate effectively just get could have held my action. Bisected. It is going to release its ravenous children. Oh, yeah. Three, five of them. So, from Pete, you start to see five of these large bug like things that were latching onto Rock Tor earlier just start swarming out of the shadows towards you. Mm -hmm. And it, and you would then see it because with your dark vision yeah with that, it's fine up. It, you can just about see it, it's here but about 30 feet above you it appears to be heading for the exit. Okay. Running away again. And at, so at the end of its turn, all the Sturges can go. Oh, Jesus. And what's their movement? Yep. They're all coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> the gun man. <laughs> so, uh, oh, actually, to be fair, the one that went around there wouldn't be able to make that. So it would actually be there. So they're coming in. Only three of them can make it onto you. Only three? Pff, rookie numbers. Only three. And they all attack with their blood drain. My AC is 16. It's a miss. So, miss. Oh, crit. <laughs> That's bad. Mm -hmm. And another crit. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Pete. <laughs> Hey, I'm still. fine. I have full hit points. I still have 33. I'm still a fighter. <laughs> it's fine. Well, so that's 6 plus 10. 13 damage to you. Mm hmm. Go to 20. Oh, we got 2. So a 10 and an 18. So it is piercing. So with a 10, you have a pierced stomach. Uh, when you complete a long rest, you must, you must succeed on a constitution saving throw, DC 10, or gain the poisoned condition to complete a long rest by defeating. So, no, when you complete a long rest. So the pierced oh, stomach okay. actually does nothing. You're kind of alright with that. But you're not good. There's stomach acid filtering into your gut. And what was the other one? 18. Minus scar. The scar doesn't have any adverse effect. So you got very lucky. <laughs> Banging, absolutely you banging. have a minor scar. <laughs> Completely so forgot about stomach that. acid is leaking into your body, but other than that, you seem all right. Yeah, that's them. Cool. Back to the top. Well done. Hmm. Oh. Well then. Okay. Nothing happened. Nothing to worry about, Roxer. Oh fuck, are you on less than half health? 
Exactly less than half by one hit no. point. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> that could have been interesting. So, where, so like in uh, Blood Hunters, when they are below half health, they have to make a Wisdom save, and if they fail, they go into basically a frenzy and they attack whatever's closest to them. Doctor, you're okay, safe for the day. He said I go to fucking think about it. Go to fucking think about it. You did this the last time. You just look like a really tasty steak. Mm, I could like fry you up. We have to group together for a while. Rooks is like, no, you did this the last time. No. All right. Yep. Now what? Can I? Hmm. What? What are you thinking? Do you want to do? Can I can I try to throw a short sword? <laughs> sure. I have, an, I have an extra one from the start yeah. of the game. Go for it. What are you throwing it at? You've only got to hit it and, and it's dead. Yeah, I'm hitting the big one. The one that's easiest to hit. <laughs> uh, you don't have dark vision. Yeah, no. but... Well, yeah. didn't uh, did he have a torch or something? If I remember correctly. Uh, you have a torch, so you'd be able to see this one. But the big, um, the actual oh, we... street boy, this guy, is 30 feet in the air oh. at this point. Oh, actually, 30 feet. How far is he from you? 30 feet in the air. Point, or 10 feet or rules for throwing non-throwing weapons. Yeah. I'm just thinking whether you could actually be able to see it. Um, I mean, it's a light weapon, so I should be able to at least throw it. It's I would say weapon. you'd be able to, depending on what you're aiming at, you can definitely see that. That the big guy, you can maybe get a glimpse of it. You'd be at disadvantage. So you take the chance. So, beat. Uh, what do you know about throwing weapons? I don't know. Throwing them. I I don't. I would say that you can throw the the short sword. And. Depending, so it becomes a da, 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 da. make it becomes a... an improvised weapon. I think if if a character yeah. uses a ranged or throws a throws a melee weapon that does not have a thrown property, it deals one d four. So yeah, it just becomes a one d four damage weapon instead. Yeah, yeah. Make an attack. So, yeah, yeah. You, I think yeah. I don't know if you have to roll with disadvantage, <laughs> but I think it should be fine. Uh, disadvantage um, for the big guy, or straight roll so... for the little one. So what do I roll to like throw it with? Wait, it's just your, your attack, your, your strength, yeah. Just, your, just regular attack. Mm -hmm. I think so. We'll go with that. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's not worth worrying about. It's a one shot. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. even if it wasn't, we'd worry about it next session. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. Wait a minute. Hmm. What about? I it? could technically. Wait, would that work? No, what? no, what? Oh, uh, no, never mind, I can't. Finish a sentence! I can only, sentence. <laughs> I can only <laughs> use right to flame on one weapon. I was thinking about throwing one. No, yeah, I... you wouldn't be able to. Oh, yeah. Well then, I guess I just <laughs> attack with this advantage. It's just you mean, you, you could just help me. I do have, you know, a range 16. Weapon. How do you want to do it? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <I> go! <laughs> I can't even it? see it properly. I'm just throwing uh, at its center, I guess. Center mass. Yep. <laughs> so you, you launch this sword just into the darkness and it, and it spirals and you just hear a squelch as it launches into its spine and you just see this spiraling bat-like creature slap into the rock below, narrowly missing Theodore. And that it frightens the shit out of you because you think it's coming for you. Oh yeah, I'm currently covered in these freaking insect things. Well, freaking as out this monstrosity lands next to me, <laughs> as he dies, all of these sturges just burst Aww, I'll and cease thinking... to be. I faint. I I drop. I faint. Can I be honest? As I was thinking after his turn, if they were still there, I was thinking of running and then just jumping with the axe and slamming into one of them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them all at once with a bear hug. 
It'd just be like, here come Mukhtar! With his big <laughs> ass actually slams into... Slams into the, the rocks one. beneath and dies. <laughs> he slams wow. into one of the birds. Uh, thoughts? Maybe someone give a healing potion to the dying woman. I'm on it. He's, have... he's the closest. I run up to her and... I okay. Have... Yep. So she, you get to her. She has multiple of these puncture wounds, but she seems to be still alive, extremely pale. Um, you give her this potion. She slowly comes to consciousness, whispers a thank you before passing out. Not dead, but just unconscious. All right. Stabilized. Ladies, we found her. Let's get her out of this hellhole. Have no fear. A werewolf is here. Rook talk goes, I don't fucking question and what you're in your werewolf form. Rook talk carry. On that, as it is also 20 to 1, that is the end. Well done. Hey, we did it. I hope you all enjoyed. Oh, that was a solid. Dude, that was. Is that your first time PMing? Yeah. That's fucking insane. Really Dude, that was amazing. That was, that was, was, that was really well put together. Oh, that's insane, man. You're allowed yeah, creativity, so you're allowed to sing and break me. I was looking yeah. at my hit points, I was like, oh, that's exactly under half, I guess. And wisdom <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> I literally... As soon as you I literally that, you're like, like Rookshaw, oh, don't worry. I was there like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I suck up you. I, I say... Took, I took damage from the, the, the skin thing and took that damage at the end, and that's it. That's the only damage I took for the entire one shot. I, say, I, say... I mean, Crappy basically single-handed that thing. Yeah, the hell, dude. <laughs> yeah, never underestimate Crafty when he's a barbarian. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> like, Berserker like barbarians are bad, and we're like, example A. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I gotta mean, say, three of us. Crafty's like, I'm gonna solo it. Ru I was say, Rub Pool, mate, where if you had any reservations about being a DM, you throw that yeah, shit dude. out the window because you, you can easily, yeah. mate, you'll easily handle a campaign. Yeah, dude, definitely. Yeah, that was yeah. banging. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, no, that, that's the plan. I, I appreciate it, thank you. I, I'm really? glad you all enjoyed. My well, favourite part is you told to continue to go fucking down. <laughs> I know I know we all enjoyed it. But what about you guys back on that on that channel there? Leave a comment down below. What did you think of Rumpel's first time being a DM? Smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and stay tuned for more one shots and campaigns here on Roll oh. for Discussion.